bullshit. Uh, 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 uh. Did you already stream for an hour? <laughs> Okay, I'm sure you guys are uh, starting to fl flood in a little bit. Damn it. Fucking glasses. Oh. <sighs> yeah, like I said, let y'all get tucked in a little bit. Oh shit, okay, I guess we are, we're in. I heard, so, I saw someone in chat say, oh, America's just going to shit. Everybody fucking says that. Always, <laughs> we always end up recovering in the end. We've been through a pandemic before. We've been through a fucking riot based on police brutality before, got through it. I've been through all that shit already. <laughs> <laughs> and we, like I said, and this country always fucking recovers from it. So just keep that in mind because, like, this shit's not gonna fucking last. The pandemic thing, after all these riots and shit, people going out, being grown, tearing shit up without social distancing and putting on the masks and shit, they're gonna, we're gonna end up opening the country back up because of that anyway. So thanks, rioters. <laughs> Thank you. For helping the, the, you know, the reopening of uh, the U.S. happen a little faster. That's the only good thing that's come from that. But anyway. Yeah, what's up? We're here. We're, oh shit, uh-oh. My stream's acting funny. Or is it, okay, for, never mind. What's up? And, uh, hello? <laughs> Oh, Chris Reynolds, 199 Super Chat, Massage Knee 2020, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's the only meme that's that's still funny because it's it's always consistently relevant with every fucking thought on Twitter. Anyway. Yeah, we're gonna be tackling TikTok feminism. <laughs> Cause it's not just BuzzFeed videos anymore. It's on it's on TikTok. Yeah. I mean, TikTok is the arbiter of um, cringe, so I mean, they house cringe regularly. So it it does it it makes perfect sense for it to finally hit TikTok because TikTok is just it's a cesspool. <laughs> it's a cesspool. Um, and altogether, the feminist tag on TikTok has nearly 240 million views. So there's a lot of shit where, like, this is this is definitely going to be worth four hours of content. I was going to make a dedi dedicated video for this. Um, but yeah, Batwoman got in the way. Other videos got in the way, as usual, because I'm doing all this. But I'm a lonesome. But, uh... But yeah, we're like, like I was thinking, like, having done a, a, a Corona stream, better not say that. Didn't do a um a corn stream in a while, and I was like, I got a day off. Well, two days off. I took two days off to myself after finishing that last Batwoman episode, and I was like, I, I'm feeling good today. Not doing shit. Let's talk about TikTok feminism. Let's just do a whole stream because I know I'm gonna find more than enough. Con more than enough shit to make fun of. Oh, Mallory Cook, $5 Super Chat. Been following for a few years. Oh, damn. Tism for streaming tonight. Uh, so, or... Th oh, the so fuck. <laughs> Thank you so it's, it's an acronym. Thank you so much for streaming tonight so I can have a laugh instead of, uh... What else, uh, what else is in this? Oh, you're welcome. And thank you for that Super Chat. Thank you. Yeah, Tism, like, you know, EFAP has fucking ruined me. I saw that and I was like, oh, Tism, this must be an EFAP fan. <laughs> I didn't know it was an acronym at first. I could be, whatever. Uh, I, I am BLT, uh, $2 super chat, playing Mortal Kombat 11 while watching you both are fun. I don't know how you're concentrating on me and a video game at the same time. I don't know. I can't, I don't, I'm not on that level of, um, of 
of uh, fuck multitasking right uh taylor ramirez five dollars i really love your batwoman reactions you're really great a really great youtuber stay safe and stay great thank you thank you oh and thank you for the super chat i, I never really feel like a great youtuber because I, I just do best with i do my best with what i got i do what i like and you know go from there but like if you guys think i'm the best because of that it's fucking great. It's really, pre I really appreciate hearing that. But let's, let's, let's just get on this shit. Let me get on it. Let, let's do it. Because if I don't, <laughs> I'm going to keep talking. Right, let's put that over there or just, no, just keep it here. Fuck it. All right. Yeah, let's, let's start. Let's start. I'm, I already saw this one. It's basically a clip from, well, no, you know, I'll fuck it. I might play it anyway. I don't know if I'm going to get copyright though. Let's see. Penalty kick. Can the young woman break the glass ceiling and prove once and for all that a female oh, can be just as good an athlete as a male? You know, Amy, anytime someone calls attention to the breaking of gender roles, it ultimately undermines the concept of gender equality by implying that this is an exception and not the status quo. What? Just because I'm a meathead doesn't mean I'm not a feminist. <laughs> Which trips me out about this, it's not even feminist because it's way too level-headed <laughs> to, be, to be a feminist ideal. It's not. It's more like just common sense. Uh, Big Mitchie, uh, ten dollar super chat. Literally just found. Uh, literally just finished watching your episode nineteen Batwoman reaction. Good tisms. Okay, now we have an EFAP fan. Okay, Lucius Fox made the code because of Alice. Alice hadn't. Been doing ass until well after Fox died. How did this happen? Oh, wait a minute. Just, oh my God. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I'm just realizing that shit. She wasn't really, her name wasn't really out there until after he fucking died. Oh God. We just, we just discovered another, uh, another glitch in the matrix. That's fine. Oh, Batwoman writers, what are you doing? What are you doing? Anyway. Oh, uh, Link Triforce says, Jay, I'm about to go to sleep, and I'm going to watch later. Love you. One of the coolest YouTubers. Thank you. Get, get some sleep. Okay. Now we're getting into the cringe territory, because now we got actual flesh, human flesh girls. I've been seeing. Okay. I can st you know, the colors on my stream keep fluctuating. Oh, hey, let's just go. There's this trend on TikTok where guys are saying they will not date a girl unless she can count her body count on one hand. But the reality is most guys- Uh, yeah, they were probably fucking with you or just joking. <laughs> that doesn't, cause that sounds really fucked up. <laughs> unless she could count her, her body weight on her hand. Girl. Someone was fucking with you. Um, Mr. Mooney Blue, uh, $5 super chat. F $5. Oh, okay. $50 super chat. Hey, Jay, have some cash for your suffering. That last episode of Batwoman was terrible. Yes, it was. But y'all ain't seen shit until the finale. The finale's got some fun. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm replaying some of what I saw in my head. Y'all ain't ready. <laughs> y'all ain't ready. <laughs> oh, shit. There's some shit. I'm not even gonna, I'm not going to say what it is though cuz I don't want to spoil anything. But yeah, the finale is worse than both the last two episodes. Uh James Russo, $2 super chat, old lady burned by Alice. Ow. <laughs> all, right, all right, let me get back to this. Let me get back to this shit. These guys want girls that are great in bed. Not good. The only thing I don't like about this shit is there's no rewind function unless there is. Hang on. Great. Nope. I've Fuck. seen this trend on TikTok where guys are saying they will not date a girl unless she can count her body count on one hand. But the reality is most guys want- Oh wait, body count. Okay, I thought she said body weight. What the fuck? But yeah, they don't want slutty chicks. I don't necessarily uh, have a problem with that. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have a problem with that, yeah. <laughs> Okay, now that I, I thank God I rewound that because I really miscon misconstrued what she said. But yeah, she 
They don't, yeah, they don't want slutty chicks. Don't see a problem with that. Let's keep going. I want girls that are great in bed. Not good, great. So you want a girl that's basically a virgin, but can ride you like a porn. I love that. <laughs> Hang on, we're gonna get to that point in a second. Okay, bro tattoo, uh, five dollar super chat. All these girls using two plus hands for body counts. Uh, when I can't even use one hand. Equality. <laughs> I want nice innocent girls, not pseudo pseudo whores, whores, pseudo whores. Anyway, but yeah, imagine thinking that's 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 that gives you that's oh that just tells you where we're at. Imagine thinking because I'm I'm assuming she's what from ages eighteen to twenty five. And she thinks ha fucking five dudes is practically a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you crazy. <laughs> I fucked five dudes. I'm basically a virgin. I mean, <laughs> five dudes is basically a virgin. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. My stream keeps going in and out for some weird reason. You guys aren't having any problems, are you? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, Big Mitchie, $10 super chat. You should check out the guys on TikTok memeing on these feminists. I don't know what hashtag they use, but they got vids like, a default dancing over someone's rousing speech about surviving abuse. Oh god, it's fucked. <laughs> it sounds fucked, but it sounds funny. Okay, people saying they're not having problems with the stream. Well, oh, this person says it's laggy. Fuck. I think I might be able to fix it and come back. Cause yeah, I think I could probably manage it. See, some people say they're good and some people say they're not. You know, I'm just gonna go with that instinct and say it's fine. Fuck it. But anyway, like, oh, I'm still stuck on, I'm still stuck on that shit. Five dudes is practically a virgin. Okay. Dante Inferno, Tanella Super Chat, good evening. Quick question. Are you considering reviewing the recent CW Star Girl? It seems like it's bound to be another garbage fire. I've been hearing like mixed things about it though. Some people say it's the worst shit. Like on par, not exactly on par with Batwoman, but it's still shitty. And then there's some people saying, oh, it's kind of good. It's kind of like a throwback to like 80s TV shows. Blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to react to it. But at the same time, like, uh, at the same time, like, I'm going to take it easy. I'm not going to, I'm not, it's not going to be like the next video after I'm done with Batwoman. Uh, Cause I'm going to go straight into Gotham High. It, you know, my the Gotham High dramatic reading I did with EFAP, I got to finish editing that. So, I mean, yeah, I might react to it, but it's gonna be a little while. A uh, Spuzzwick four ninety nine super chat. I watch a lot of YouTubers, but you have comedic chops to hang with people like Riff Tracks, Riff Tracks folks, fan for life. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, they're actually one of my greatest inspirations. Those guys, because I used to watch them. For, me and my mom used to watch Mystery Science Theater. Back when they used to they used to air that shit on the Sci-Fi Channel, and I was like, "Oh my God, this is so like it's got it's what got me into the re like uh, commentary thing on YouTube and all that." So yeah, it makes. Uh, I don't think I can hang with them though. I don't know. I'm probably a little too uh, like politically incorrect for them. I don't know. But whatever, whatever. Let's get back to this shit. Porn star. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. The guy wants me to fuck like a porn star and be, be practically a virgin. Bitch, if you were five, if you've been with five dudes and over, and you're not even like 25 yet, you'll you'll be all right. <laughs> you'll be all right. So you're already fucking up your issues <laughs> with with males already because they want me to be practically a virgin. Now they fuck <laughs> five dudes and you're not even 30 yet. And who knows what time frame that is? Well, are we talking about five dudes you fucked or five boyfriends? Because if it's five boyfriends, five steady boyfriends, then yeah, that's 
I was, yeah, it's not practically a virgin either, but it's, it's a lot more reasonable than I, oh yeah, fuck five dudes last year. <laughs> but anyway. Let's use LeBron James as an example. You think LeBron... Okay, okay. Basement Dweller, a $20 nook. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five is a lot though. Yeah, like, especially when you're young. It's, it's a lot. Tell mom, five dudes is practically a virgin. Oh, whatever, let's just get back to this. LeBron James became a basketball champion by playing with only five people. No, bitch, it's called practice and trial and error. But what's more concerning is that there's 14, 15 year old boys saying this. Uh, 14, 15 year old boys don't want to fuck sluts. I think that is progress, bitch. That's progress. How the fuck? <laughs> Chris Reynolds, 499. Hey, feminism is important. <laughs> it, it is, but just not this, whatever the fuck this is. Um, yeah, you got 50, 14, 15 year old boys say they don't want a girl that fucked a lot of dudes. That's not okay. <laughs> Are you serious? The idea that a virgin or a girl that's been with less guys is somehow more dateable and more pure creates a social... <laughs> yeah like there's i think there's even like a study that says you create a certain antibody in your body if you've had too much sex like if you have a lot of sex like sir your body does change with that in some in some in some capacity oh shelby md two dollar super chat two dollar super chat bet she loves to get five guys I'm guessing you mean the restaurant. Red Rose Spock, 499 Super Chat. I know it's late, but what are your thoughts on The Last of Us 2 leaks? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm never going to play that shit anyway. So, uh, don't necessarily have any thoughts, but it, like from what people have said, it looks like fucking garbage. <laughs> it looks like total garbage. It looks like one of those, like, uh, one, like... Like I said, from what people said, like whatever anyone has said about it, this has been negative. Is is basically my opinion, because that's all I've seen so far. Basement dweller, 20, 20 knock. I'm uh I meant uh twelve thousand three hundred and thirty-four is a lot. Okay. I think I'm gonna take a slight uh like a brief intermission because dinner is ready and I haven't eaten a goddamn thing. I'll be back in like a minute. Just, oh, just give me a minute. Give me a little minute.
Okay, okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I am back for real. Alright. Did I miss a super chat or anything? Think I might have. Oh, Vaporwave Doug, $10 super chat. I live in Minneapolis area. And literally whatever I do, I cannot escape the craziness here. And I was about to lose it. This live stream has been a nice escape. And, <clears throat> and I thank you. Love your videos, by the way. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> thank you for the super chat. That means a lot because, you know, Minneapolis is fucked right now. Uh, Wolfsbane00999 zero zero nine, 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 super chat. I, uh, this woman doesn't know how much it means to a man to share their first experience of sex, especially when with someone they love. Same with women. Love your videos, by the way. Thank you. Oh uh, yeah, this is the type of chick who's like, sex is like basically nothing. <laughs> Doesn't mean shit. I just like do a little squirt and move on, whatever. Uh, Brian Richardson, ten dollars super chat. I'm glad there is a person like you on the internet with this type of mindset. Makes me feel proud to be a black man with a weird sense of humor. Hope you keep up the good work and stay safe. Oh, thank you. And yeah, yeah, us uh. Us uh, weird Negroes have to work to have to, have to stick together. Uh, Aunt Haggis, six ninety nine uh, super chat. I had a lovely night with a chick who had five guys, burgers and fries. Is that why me my wee wee don't work? <laughs> Thank you for that super chat. Okay, let's get back to this. Let's get back to it. The construct that girls don't own their sexuality and their sexuality is only prized when it's pleasuring a man. <laughs> oh, shut up. They, you know men don't get pleasure out of you being a virgin, right? That's not what that's for. <laughs> it's not some kind of fucking fetish. I mean, it could be someone's fetish. But it's not a fucking fetish. It's like they don't want to get AIDS. Like, that's as simple as that. They don't want to get gonorrhea. There's nothing wrong with that. Can we stop shaming boys for one? Oh, yeah, you know what? I don't want to have herpes. Let's not shame them for that. Let's... let's Let's let them keep, let them have that mentality, all right? So the same sexuality a man is so eager to receive so he can brag about it to his boys is the same sexuality a female will be slut shamed for. And that <laughs> I can't believe like we're we're just not <clears throat> We just can't get over this shit. How come men can be whores but we can't be whores? For one thing, if you have to force yourself to do it, to have that male, that you want that male uh, fantasy fantasy life without any of the consequences. That's basically what feminists go on and on about. I want to be a whore and I want to brag about being a whore, not being called a whore. <laughs> but like, that's not how that works. Even men don't, like, you, you, she seems to be under the assumption that men could just go out and fuck <laughs> and without any consequences, without any, it, like, it, like it's easy. And it ain't. <laughs> It's not. Especially when you gotta tick a certain number of boxes just to get some boxes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That like, like she really like she's got her her vision of guys in their head with they're all like billionaire CEOs with five fucking bitches on their arm every night. Like no, dudes are just they're just people. They're people. So when feminists like aspire to be slutty because that because they think that's what men are, like <laughs> that's why that's why um women who like end up doing that shit who just fucking whore themselves out and whore themselves out and whore themselves out who are feminists don't end up being happy because you're trying to hold yourself to a standard that does not exist. <laughs> It's a fucking fantasy. You're trying to live a fantasy world of a different gender at that. No wonder you ain't fucking happy. Because dudes, do not do that. Get it through your thick fucking skulls. They're not just going around whore, like having sex whenever they want with, how, with as many people as they want. That's not how it works. There are some, some guys, there's a couple of guys out there who do that, but look, they check certain boxes and they are, or they, or they have the charisma to, in order to do that. 
You think all dudes, you think all dudes live that way, and that's why your fucking ass is being called a slut by dudes because they, because they don't do that shit. That's why they're calling you a slut because they don't do that. They, they're not used to that. So they look at you like, well, you have, oh, I had sex with five dudes in a month, and they're like, oh no, <laughs> never heard of that shit because I don't fucking do it. I don't know anyone who does do it. Only one I, I know who does it is your, is your skanky ass. Oh, hi, Zappa777. Can we dump Shu and Skeptic into a riot and see if they still apologize for it? Don't want to bring the mood down. Uh, so, Kick J also hushes cancer. <laughs> yeah, like, we all have bad takes sometimes, and that was definitely one of them. <laughs> oh, they said they almost lost. You know what? Hold on. It's going to stop the stream for like a minute. I'm still going to be back. And I think the stream should still be up, but I'm just going to stop it for a minute and then fix something and come back because this thing, it keeps going in and out and I'm just, I, I don't know. All right, we're back. You guys see me? Is everything cool? Okay, I think we're back. Yeah, it went out for a minute, and I turned it back on. It should be fine now. Okay. A grain of salt says, what did uh, Shu and Skeptic say? It was more about what Shu said. I don't know if Skeptic any uh, said anything. I don't follow him. But she said, she kind of compared the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the rioting to the Boston Tea Party? Yeah, it was... Ugh. She looks... It, that... that take is even dumber now that you see how far this has escalated people like fucking apartment buildings got burnt down and shit like the people like the dude almost got killed because a couple of fucking morons stomped him in the middle of the street so yeah it doesn't look good <laughs> that it's not a good take it it, it aged like milk over the uh, only a couple of hours <laughs> no, no no not a couple of hours like a, after a, a day but whatever. Like, uh, let's move on from that. Let's get back to making fun of this bitch. <laughs> That's on misogyny. I've been seeing this trend on TikTok where guys are saying they will not date a girl unless she can count her body count. On okay, wait, yeah, 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 okay. So basically, yeah. Why can't I do, why can't I have a male fantasy life that doesn't exist? Because they don't know how, like, like what? <laughs> mm. Big Mitchie fight all the super chat guys, calm down. She just had to close the Henry Cavill Henry Cavill deep fake porn she had open. Fuck you. <laughs> you don't know me. And it's the t and I'm looking at the Henry Cavill Tumblr tag. So bleh. <laughs> you're not always you guys don't always know everything. Anyway, uh, like when feminists when you aspire to live a fantasy life, and that fantasy doesn't match up to what you think, you're gonna end up being a miserable prick. And then make videos on TikTok about feminism. <laughs> That's the way it works, kids. Like, honestly, what did you think? <laughs> you thought guys all wanted whores? <laughs> Sweetie, no! <laughs> uh, green kid, $5 super chat, a uh, hush. And then the volleyball and a, and, a, and a gun. That's funny. Okay. Thank you for the super chats. Like, girl, did you really think that dudes were going to be okay with you fucking dudes in Burger King bathrooms? Girl. Guys want to date chick chick and bring home their family and marry? Whoops. <laughs> on the wrong side of history, I guess. Whatever, let's move on. It all started when my mom... Man, my dad. Oh, this is already obnoxious. Girl, shut up. <laughs> you know, shut up. Oh. And we got one of those that likes to edit Trump's name. Likes to censor it. How, much, how edgy are you? Like, how much, how cool are you? If you can't even spell a motherfucker's name. <laughs> Without getting upset. 
<laughs> Let's go. And then they fell in love and they had me. And boy, do they fucking regret it. It all. Really? You relish in the fact that your family thinks you're an obnoxious guy? <laughs> I mean, I have to assume you're obnoxious cunt from this goddamn video. Uh, yeah, I'm ever widening the deep chasm of <laughs> the deep chasm I have between my parents. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Oh no, she probably loves her parents, and it's probably no problem. But still, it's like, why would you, like, why? <laughs> why would you brag? Why would you make it? Oh, they regret having me. <laughs> That's probably not why they regret having you. <laughs> See, it is what we're not committed. See, it is what we're not committed. Just in case I, just in case I get copyrighted claimed, I want to talk over this shit. See, this what we not finna do. This not what we about to do. Okay, then so that now that's how a woman should dress. See, this so they like modesty, like you know, they like women to be sexy but modest. Okay, whatever. See, you were born in the wrong era. Yeah, you look like some bitch from the fucking fifties. And how is that fucking sexist? They just say you look a certain way. Like you look like you were you were born in the fuck that you were this age in this in the fifties. How is that sexist? Are, are you reading into that? Oh, they must want me in the fucking kitchen. They must want me in the kitchen. <laughs> like no, you just look like you you live in the fifties. Relax. Your man must love this. Uh. Apparently she's a lesbian. So, so even though heterosexuals are like the, basically the majority in the, on the planet because, well, I'm here from the act of heterosexual sex, so they ha kind of have to be. Um, for someone assuming that I'm hetero, just so sexist. <laughs> that's, an itch. that's a problem. It's not unreasonable to fucking assume someone's straight until further notice. It's not like, stop it. See Is your underwear vintage too? Okay, someone tried to flirt with you. Whatever. What like, yeah, some of those comments are like, just unnecessary, but are they like, so bad? Like, horrible? No. And I bet none of these motherfuckers handle the situation um, on site. They just wait till they get to fucking TikTok. <laughs> And, and then and then they talk their shit. God forbid you tell someone off to their face. Okay. Many of the countries currently praised for their handling of the coronavirus are countries led by women. Ah! <laughs> no! Wait a minute. Is one of them China? Please don't tell me one of them is China. <laughs> Hang on. Taiwan. Uh, uh. But Taiwan isn't a part of China, though, right? Are they like separate? If they're not, then yeah, that's no, sweetie, no. <laughs> The virus is feminist. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. She hides behind the screen. Oh, Biotic Warlock says, who says it's China? So, uh. oh, no, wait, wait. Someone says Taiwan is separate. Taiwan hates China. Okay. All right. They handled the coronavirus so well and they're all led by women. Why do I think if I'd fucking fact check this shit is going to end up looking embarrassing? Let's, let's see what else she has to say. 
<laughs> Many of the countries currently praised for their handling of the coronavirus are countries led by women. Hmm. Tsai Ing-wen. And you're really going to put that Merkel bitch on this list? She fucks up. Yeah, she, she fucks up in everything else. But the coronavirus... She was such a yas queen. <laughs> and the leader of Taiwan. Less than 500 confirmed cases of coronavirus and only six deaths. She's also sending... Well, let's see if that's true. <laughs> World of meters. Now Taiwan was Corona ready. Take a little look at this right quick. Mm. The streets of Taiwan are all over Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Big Mitchy, $10 super chat. Scott Pilgrim versus the world ruined an entire generation of women is a wholesome speech made by negative XP. Everyone should check it out. And with that, I must leave. I need to get back to this dough. <laughs> Thank you, Big Mitchie, for the super chat and reminding us of that song yet again. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I mean, seven hundred guys, and thanks to rapid contact tracing and testing, fewer than section all that. Despite sitting on sitting only my, but you know what? What does that? I said, we've been planning, hold on, we've been planning for any pandemic that may affect Taiwan foreign. Because back in 2003, Taiwan was hit very hard by SARS. Okay, naturally. But what the fuck does that have to do with them being women? I think 10 million masks to the EU and the US. Jacinda Ardern, Prime Minister of New Zealand. Only 19 deaths. Also, she's only 39 years old. She gave birth in office in 2018. Don't tell me women are too emotional to lead. <laughs> we didn't bring it up, bitch. <laughs> we didn't bring that up. You did. Big Mitchie, five dollars super chat. Actually, first, most of the countries were tricked by the WHO, put out lies from China that Corona was all good. Yeah, that's what people don't really seem to take that into account <laughs> at all. I mean, why do you think Trump backed out of the uh, World Health Organization in the first fucking place? Catherine <laughs> Jakobstakia, Prime Minister of Iceland. Only 10 deaths from Corona. She also runs a country with no standing army. Sana Marin, Prime Minister. They don't have an army. They're so progressive. <laughs> Finland. Only 34 years old. Currently the world's youngest. Oh, please don't make shit like this if you're going to cut off your own audio. Because it just sounds dumb. Head of state. Dumb. Less than 200 deaths. Dumber. Erna Solberg, Prime Minister of Norway. She held a press. Yeah, don't get, get, don't get me started on fucking Sweden. Press conference to calm the nerves of children. All these women display courage, strength, and compassion. Women are saving the world. <laughs> oh, they just couldn't save China. <laughs> anyway. Like, what the fuck does them being women have to do with anything? Nothing. That's just super sad. This is too fucking loud, girl. I gotta turn this down, guys. I might get a copyright any fucking way. An introduction. Oh, her. she's an Asian feminist. And hello. The last one is the most important. Politics, liberal, Democrat, Bernie 2020. Ooh, girl, you still on that? <laughs> We all dead. When did she record this shit? Feminist, leftist, Biden 2020. How are you going to be for Biden and Bernie? That's just... <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> you for Biden and Bernie. Oh, girl, you confused. Um, Barb's, whatever the fuck that is. Pro-choice, pro gun control. Yeah, when the fuck was this made? <laughs> because saying you're for gun control now, after what's been going on, this seems delusional. Asian, Chinese... Raging feminists. Pro choice. Eat the rich. <laughs> Eat the rich. 
she says probably in uh, a home that is not hers <laughs> me like a ice that she is not paying for if she is you live in a better home than most people that fridge i bet that fridge costs at least a grand racial equality gun control Put them on a diet. Put them on a save the earth human yeah. rights <laughs> you know what i like to get uh, 300, 313,000 views or likes off of celebrating the status quo <laughs> or, or celebrating shit like basic fucking shit that everyone else thinks. I would love it. <laughs> This is a stream. I have to really think about the jokes I'm gonna make. <laughs> I believe you took. I believe you shouldn't take a shit in public. <laughs> oh my god! Hang on, it's making me laugh. No. Oh. Okay. Okay. Wait. I got it. I believe you shouldn't take a shit in public fountains. Mm -mm, that's just super sad. Fucking carpe diem. I'm so indecisive. You can cuff me, but I'm wifey. I just want a nigga who gon' slurp me like a icy. Bitches bite me. I believe child molestation is bad. Or I had to put them on a diet. Bitches say no tryouts. So Hold how you been out try me. I believe you shouldn't masturbate in movie theaters. I'm so indecisive. Shut up! You basic bitch. <laughs> Human rights! <laughs> uh, Jalen Fulp? 199 Super Chat, love you. I believe you shouldn't step on puppies. <laughs> oh. Oh, someone yelled out simp. They must have seen the dude in the middle. Yeah, let's go to him first. Fuck it. Rates of domestic violence. Hang on, I'm gonna turn it back up. Violence have been sparking since quarantine. So the Women's Funding Network created this hand signal. You can use it while you're video chatting somebody to safely tell them what you're experiencing. And this is an example of what it would look like. So you can use that hand signal to show somebody that you're experiencing domestic violence without outing yourself if you're in the presence of your abuser. Thankfully, everyone knows this. And they'll... And they won't think you're kind of retarded for just randomly putting your hand up every few seconds. Calling the cops isn't an option. Just put your fucking hand up during your live stream. That should do it. Anyway. <laughs> Not as necessarily a simp, but... Oh, God. Oh, this is going to be bad. We got an Astrid. I, any feminist chick who looks like that with all the heavy makeup, I call Astrid. See, Karen is like for the older chicks who will ask for the manager at Walmart or like make a scene. Or actually just anybody who makes a scene who's an asshole. But the chicks like this, this is an Astrid. They got one of those like really pretentious artsy names. But anyway, let's keep going. So the wallets want to repeat. Oh my God, it says kill all men. Are you, y'all still on that meme, huh? That same lame ass meme. Wyatt Claypool, two dollars super chat. That guy's girlfriend was beating him. Wait, what? <laughs> is that a joke or is that real? I think that. Yeah, I'm just gonna take that as a joke and move on. <laughs> Peel the Nineteenth Amendment because women are too emotional for politics. Oh. Really? The countries with female leaders are handling the coronavirus better than any other. Oh my god! <laughs> That's true. Um, I'm Johnny Love, five dollars super chat. I caught up on the Batwoman. So sorry for my chewing. <laughs> caught up on Batwoman. I'm making wrestling gifts and now I want to die. Love you, stay safe. Thank you. Love you too, and you also stay safe. Other country in the world, but we're too emotional for politics. I'm, I'm sure you're really proving it wrong. 
I'm sure you're really proving that stereotype wrong by taking a huge deep breath to calm your fucking nerves before making a TikTok video. You really proved me wrong, Astrid. No, Chad. What's too emotional? <laughs> I felt like she responded to me. Like, yeah, Astrid. No, Chad. <laughs> emotional is incels threatening to rape and murder women when they don't want to have sex with them. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, she got the the Billy Irish Billy Eilish jewelry. <laughs> Call me when the TikTok's over. Cry when I'm coming home and I'm on my own. I'm fucking cringe. I'm so fucking cringe. I'm so fucking cringe. Okay, What's too fine. emotional <laughs> is people getting riled up that they have to stay inside for their own safety and they can't get the precious haircuts they want. Really? We're still on that talking point too? Because people don't have jobs. Well, you know what? Someone with a job who's, who is, um, that's their normal. Like unemployed people who live off other people. Of course, they don't think anyone else has a job they, that they might need to work. Because let's keep in mind the people who were protesting before um, to open the country back up. These are motherfuckers who are, have been used to working their who are who are used to who have been used to working their whole fucking lives since they were fucking kids, supporting families and shit. And it kind of freaks them out a little bit that they're not working and they're not supporting it, supporting anybody. I mean, it's natural to feel like that anyway because like, you know, if you got a family to support, you don't want to have to sit on your ass. And let the bills pile up. It's not a good feeling. Trust me. Um, so yeah, they wanted the fucking country open back up. That's what I'm saying, Astrid. You got too much. You got too much privilege. You got too much privilege. You got too. You got so much privilege. You don't even know that people wanted the country to open back up because they wanted to work. Grow up, girl. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> What's too emotional is men being so. <laughs> What's too emotional? She said emotionally. <laughs> Threatened by women that the only way that they can protect their precious masculinity is to take away our rights and put us on a lower playing field. <laughs> Her fucking voice is killing me. Oh, hang on. Oh, Ryan Richardson, five dollars super chat. Was the reason the women leaders are doing better due to the population density? is better are doing due to the population density of their countries. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> New Zealand, isn't that like a far, isn't that far, far away from fucking China? But anyway, I digress. So go ahead, commander, take away our right to vote. Blessed be the fruit and may the- Who, Who's taking away your right to vote, bitch? Who's taking it away? Where do you live? Because if you live in America, ain't nobody taking your fucking right right to vote away. Oh God, she's awful. <laughs> she oh God, that makeup, that's too much. That's too much, girl. You gotta back it, back it down on the makeup. Why Claypool to all the super chat? I oppress women uh, too, because of my big boy feels. <laughs> Ugh. What does she look like? She looks she she looks crazy because she's just got too much red on, on her face. Like, ugh. It's like she painted her. It looks like she painted her whole face with blood. It just doesn't look good. Grain of salt. When I when I need super chat. Call me when the misogyny is over. Just call me when the misogyny is over. Yeah, you really gotta. You really gotta fit it. No. See, I'm I'm busy trying to like make that to make that fit instead of watching this video like I should be doing. Lord open, but don't blame us when the revolution begins and you're the first one to be. <laughs> this bitch did not just say the revolution. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all just listen to me like angrily chew for a minute. <laughs> Are you the revolution? She's nuts. She's nuts. <laughs> 
she's gotten to this point and like she doesn't look that uh, even old enough to drink yet she's gotten to this point where she's talking about the revolution <laughs> the revolution <laughs> oh fuck Generica, two dollars super chat. Uh, let's end women's suffrage. They suffered long enough. Oh God. Guillotined because the knives that are making your sandwiches are gonna be the knives cutting off your balls. Really? <laughs> really? That is some fucking. 2013 Tumblr shit if I ever heard it. Girl, update your rant. <laughs> what the fuck? I think we've, we've only been up to like four videos. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. <laughs> she bitch breathing and shit. Oh wait, this Blake Lively looking hoe. Um, no. Yeah, fuck it. A Nazi wrote an article about me? <laughs> Look, the whole article a, is just- Wait, a Nazi? All right, wait. Nick, oh, Nick Fuentes is tagged in here. <laughs> that must be who she's talking about. Um, I know he's a prick and I know he's kind of racist, but Nazi? Yeah. Keep in mind his last name is fucking Fuentes. Ain't no way they're gonna let let him in their ranks. So, like, yeah, he could be kind of racist. He, I think he's kind of racist, but I don't think he's a fucking Nazi. Just throwing that word out there for no reason. <laughs> Was that who wrote the fucking article? Because if it is, like, yeah, I don't think he's a Nazi. Do they let no niggas named Fuentes in their fucking ranks? <laughs> Just promo for my profile. Does this chick think she's being edgy by adopting all of the woke left's cringe talking points? The only thing she well, you do call yourself a leftist, and you're actually proud of this. Black shit. And pink hair and a slut tattoo on her stomach. What is wrong with these manic leftist white women? Their brain. Yeah. <laughs> if the last chick has anything to say about it, nerd bane. Two dollars super chat lip smacking. ASMR stream. And Alex, I'm so sorry. Thank God I'm done. actually done eating. Done. They do everything in their power to signal to brute non-white males that they are up for the taking, ready to be subdued and carted off to the Afghan countryside to make a nice jihadi bride. Yeah, that's just a racist way of saying, um, you like the brown cock. <laughs> that's a part of your lore to get it, is to be ultra progressive and, uh, like nauseating, nauseatingly progressive, which is, uh, I'm sure is correct. <laughs> See, they wrote that because I know Arabic and they're threatened by that. No, they wrote that because you want to get dicked down by, <laughs> no, they wrote that because you want to get dicked down by Jamal <laughs> and you cringily learned Arabic to do it. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It, she could have just really wanted to learn that language. She could have. She could have. I don't know. <laughs> but next. Yeah, just next. Hmm. This looks interesting. She got one of those obnoxious faces. Story time. So as I let you guys know in the last. Hold on. Denim day for you. Tra trauma informed mental health awareness. Women's empowerment. Feminist. What a victim blaming is fun. Yeah. Uh oh. Here we go. <laughs> Video. I am a sexual assault therapist, and today I thought I would share with you the story of Denim Day. So there was a case in Italy in the 90s where an 18-year-old was picked up by her driving instructor, and she was later assaulted by him on that same drive. He was eventually convicted of all charges, but later he appealed, and it got overturned. And their reasoning was, well, there is no way that he could have taken off her jeans. Uh -huh. Shock seven 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 ten dollars super chat. Been a long time follower since your Tumblr days. As I like, I like children fried. Was uh, been to watching your old videos. Thank you for your sanity. Thank you and thank you for the super chats. 
Raddy4949, $5 Super Chat. God, these kind of people make me realize that I'm so glad I was just a super nervous wreck in high school and unlikely to be outspoken like this. Yeah, I'd rather be a wallflower than obnoxious. I'm sorry. Even though I come off obnoxious in my videos, but like in real life, I'm not, I'm as, I'm more res I have the same views, but I'm more reserved. By himself because they were so tight, therefore implying consent, which was obviously not given. So every year on April 29th, we wear denim basically as a big middle finger to rape culture and misogyny. So if you would like to join in, wear denim on April 29th. Story time. Wait, let, let me read. Let me listen to that again because I I told. I totally spaced out on one part. So as I let about. you guys know in the last video, I am a sexual assault therapist. And today I thought I would share with you the story of Denim Day. So there was a case in Italy in the 90s where an 18 year old was picked up by her driving instructor and she was later assaulted by him on that same drive. He was eventually convicted of all charges, but later he appealed and it got overturned. And their reasoning was, well, there's no way that he could have taken off her jeans by himself because they were so tight, therefore implying consent, which was obviously not given. So every year on April 29th- Oh yeah, that's bullshit. We still don't live in a rape culture though. <laughs> mm, oh God, Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman. Oh, he's back. <laughs> When a guy said he'd break up with his girlfriend for having a miscarriage, these motherfuckers listen to one conversation, one group of assholes ha assholes have, and think, "Oh, that's me that's just men." <laughs> I do it for the girls and the gays. That's it. <laughs> oh, men are trash. This is the song or audio. <clears throat> that's apparently in the video. Men are trash. Like it doesn't matter how gay you are. A simp is a simp. And you are a fucking simp, my dude. Wary statue, $33, $2 super chat. Given what's going on, you packing heat? Nah, nothing's really happening out. In, well, I think that there's certain shit happening out in, out in Chicago. I think, I'm not sure, but like, yeah, not much is going out in our neighborhood. Not much is going on in our neighborhood, thank God. Nah, we, we're not strapped, but we got bats. You know, knives and shit, that's about it. And thank you for the super chat, and thank you for your concern. Well, let's get back to this. So you're telling me this is how the Boy. turn up? <laughs> hmm. Then I'm gonna stick with What? What the fuck? We got the <laughs> yeah, gouges, gouges. I forgot how, what the fuck you call these these fucking big ass gaping holes in your ears. It got like it looks like <clears throat> dragon lens glasses or some shit. And then he has like a, a, a safety pin <laughs> in this shit. What the hell? <laughs> There's more than enough material to make fun of him. Like just looking at him. Girls. I'm gonna stick with the girls. Um, you're gay, dude. <laughs> you're gay. <laughs> uh oh. Looks like we might potentially have another one. Another simp. Oh, Ladies, Lord. did you know that pads, tampons, and menstrual items are taxed as luxury goods? Oh, how is anything that comes with- Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, Colin Pratt. No, sorry. Colin Pat. I almost said Pratt. Hard to hear girl struggles for you. Feminist. Feminism. Support. Trans. Disabled. Plus size. Color. Pro yeah, this guy's trying to get laid. <laughs> All these fucking tags. Or it's for you. <laughs> it's tagged for you. <laughs> oh boy. So the period, whether that be bleeding, cramping, weight gain, acne, or mood swings, luxurious. Ugh. And so he says, <laughs> "Stop doing that." Ugh. He respects women. Cute. But does he respect trans women or disabled women? What about plus size women or women of color? Oh Jesus Christ. This is embarrassing. <laughs> what about pronouns? Like, it, who knows, it could be a good hustle. A good pussy hustle. It could be a good one. He probably gets a lot of crazy feminist ass off this shit. <clears throat> assuming that he is straight. I'm looking at the uh, backwards cap and I'm assuming 
And and the fact that he's filming in his car, and I'm assuming that it's he's straight. Anyway. It could be a good hustle. But you're still whoring yourself out uh for mediocre vagina with this with the mediocre um ideology. <laughs> so is that you? Oh, even self-proclaimed. Stop saying ew. Stop doing that noise. Pose deserve respect. But let me get this straight so I don't sound crazy. A girl can smash mash a hundred random dudes in a year, yet only have one full-term pregnancy, while a guy can smash mash a hundred random women and have a hundred full-term pregnancies. What? What? <laughs> what? Are you what? What was his point here? And we're talking about regulating women? Or ladies, why is it What the fuck are you talking about? Are you talking about like sperm compared to eggs? Like do could he can impregnate like a bunch of fucking women da, da, da. Um but women can only like get impregnated by one guy at a time. Oh, I guess that's what he's saying. That's retarded. <laughs> But how come we're only regulating women? Because it, <laughs> if every dude was fucking impregnating every woman they've ever been with, which would be a little impossible anyway, because like I said before in that last TikTok, men aren't hoeing around like that. Morgan Freeman, 499 Super Chat. My minority cop husband is out doing riot control tonight. I'm worried sick. Your content is always a great distraction. Thanks. Um, yeah, thank you. And I'm a, I'm a, send some uh, some fucking prayers and like well wishes to your husband hope you know, hope that I just hope he comes home like, oh it's so it's so awkward giving people well wishes in a situation like that because you don't know what the right thing to say is but yeah I hope I hope he's doing well I hope he like I said I hope he comes home to you safe and sound all right let's let's get back to this when you bring a feminism to but oh wait, right, right. I was going to say, uh, I guess, oh, men can impregnate this many women, but the, and women can only get pregnant once at a time, like one guy at a time, and we're only regulating dudes? This, oh yeah, this guy is totally simping for pussy, because his, his, <laughs> or he's just brainwashed, because he makes no sense, <laughs> but yeah, just because a dude, yeah, a dude can impregnate a bunch of women. You know, if a sperm count is good enough. Or, and if he's got enough, uh, I don't know, you know, fucking clout with the ladies, which a lot of guys do not. <clears throat> There's a lot of shit that, a lot of factors you're leaving out there, dude. But, like, the fact that he's whoring himself out like that, he's either, he's either brainwashed or a simp. No, no, no. He's either, like, a brainwashed simp or he is, he's, yeah, no, fuck it. Either way, you're a fucking simp, dude. <laughs> <laughs> whether you're doing it for pussy or just doing it for your own satisfaction because you're brainwashed. Either way, it's not dignified at all because you sound like an idiot. To most men, the first thing they bring up is being able to hit you back. Ew, not pay to spare. Ew. <laughs> Stop. Productive rights or representation in politics. Oh, the right to hit you back. He, 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 that, ew. Oh my God, that's awful. Dude, dudes want the right to hit you back. No, they want the right to, to defend themselves against women without being fucking thrown in jail for domestic violence. You know what I'm saying? And I can't, this, these are such fucking old gripes. How the fuck, how are you going to be, how are you under the age of 25 and you still buy this shit? Malaysia Morgan, $2 super chat. Are people in the first world countries just bored? Yes. Deeply, deeply bored. And thank you for that super chat. Puffball Puff says, I bet his hair is thinning underneath that cap. <laughs> Mark Alcatraz, respect wham respect whammon. <laughs> Trappist in, in, in a Genius says, what's up? What's up? Oh, Biotic Warlock. With every ew, you can hear his testosterone levels drop. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I mean, I've heard of, like, people putting in little gimmicks, uh, in their videos, but not every sentence, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want a woman to give me her pussy hell, oh. <laughs> it's all the people that say they don't like abortions, 
Just ignore him. What the fuck? Oh, that's just cringe. It's so cringe. That's terrible. <laughs> That is fucking cringe. Don't ever do that. Just like you ignore kids in foster care. And I'll humor you if she was. <sighs> oh, you don't like abortion, but you ignore kids in foster care. <sighs> so every so people are just supposed to adopt a kid for every abortion they don't like. <laughs> That's not how that works. I mean, personally, I'm not uh, against abortion. I don't really, really have a problem with it. Exactly. But like people who are against it, I understand why they're against it. <clears throat> Even though I don't really condone being total like wanting it banned or anything. I understand like but, like why are you you ask you're asking of these people to like be completely holier than now and they're just being like, Well, you just I don't like abortion. I like the fact that people go in and they get the baby sucked out. I don't like that. It makes me feel skeevy. But then these motherfuckers come out like, no, you should be holier than now and just like adopt a kid for every fucking abortion to ever exist. It's like, relax, bitch. <laughs> was asking for it? Why couldn't you? Ladies, did you know that pads, tampons, and- Yeah, this guy's a total simp. No matter, <clears throat> no matter what reason he's doing it. Like, just so simpy. You can. Simpy wimpy. Because it's my property. My property. Okay, so here we go. Here we go, guys. Not, not, res respecting, not respecting. Not hey. respecting other. Oh wow, you are gross. <laughs> she looks like the son of Sam in a fucking hey, wig. Look at that. <laughs> no, she looks like Uncle Fester. The fuck? Oh Christ. Uh, Jalen Folk, one ninety nine super chat. Simps make no sense. Yeah, they really don't. My property. Why would someone brag about having an abortion? My property. Okay, so here we yeah, go. This is the conservative TikTok. Which this is weird to me. Oh, it reconnected. Okay, we're back. We're back, guys. We're fucking back. Okay, okay. Let's let me finish reading this. Okay. And their whole career could be potentially destroyed, but men could have a whole ass rape alleg allegation. A, uh, a, but still be the president of the United States. I never want to hear y'all argue that gender equality doesn't exist. <laughs> like one is the same as the other. For one thing, an allegation is just that, a fucking allegation. If you don't prove shit, then shit didn't happen until you can prove it. Like we know R. Kelly did his dirt. We know R. Kelly, you know, we know he's a piece of shit and now he's in prison and his career is fuck basically fucking over. No one, nobody's going to touch him. Even if he does, if he does get out, which he won't, but if he does, no one will touch his ass anymore. Cause it's just, he's just too tainted now. Which, and rightfully so. Yeah, but yeah, it's a fucking allegation. It's not a conviction. Now, if he was convicted, if he actually did that shit and he was still in office, okay. But keep in mind, um... I'm, I'm guessing they're talking about oh, the Trump accu ac uh, rape accusations. Keep in mind, they all, all the accusations happened all at once. <laughs> they happened all at once, and all these bitches had the same fucking lawyer. The same lawyer who's been known to work with, uh, who's usually on, she's, I think she's usually on the lefty side. Uh, Gloria Allred, bitch. I think they, I think they all had the same lawyer. And they all came out at the same time. None of them could fucking corroborate their stories. Like their stories didn't really make that much sense. I think some of them were even debunked. And you gotta think, so, and then, and then they all disappeared basically at the same time. And one of them was a certified fucking nutcase that said rape is fucking sexy, which if you were raped and you were a rape victim, wouldn't make any sense. But you know, whatever. Oh, and don't forget the whole Joe Biden shit. We already know, we, we don't know for a fact, but well, the same chick has been accusing him of the same shit for like, uh, what was it? Um, was it 26 years? She's been accusing him of fucking rape. Same chick, same accusations. And it hasn't, her story hasn't fucking changed. 
And then you got all the pictures of uh, Joe Biden sniffing up on girls, a lot of them underage. <laughs> and you look and you see that and you're like, okay. Hmm. And look, she, it has Biden 2020 in her <laughs> description. <laughs> ah! Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, hon. Rape allegations and you're still running for president? Of course, she's not going to talk about that. But let's, let's, uh, oh wait, no. Huge facts. No, I don't like Biden. Then why does it say Biden 2020 in your description? No, I don't like Biden. Biden 2020. Okay. But you got it. That shit tagged though. Why you got it tagged Biden 2020 and Trump 2020? That's fucking weird. I'm sorry. But usually people only tag it with shit that they agree with or like is, is it part of the topic? I don't know what the fuck that is all about. It is way to beat live through no look. Yeah, you know, let's just, yeah, I read the tweet. We all know she's a twat, so let's just get past it. Oh no. Oh no. D. Snyder's illegitimate son. Just a reminder that silence doesn't equal consent. A woman's clothes doesn't define her consent, and no doesn't mean convince me. <laughs> he's got an anarchist tattoo. Oh shit. Bet money that he's gonna be, um, someone's gonna catch him on camera doing some <laughs> Minnesota looting. Because <laughs> he's an anarchist. All right, you next. You have to do more than just say it. You're gonna have to do less when you do it. Mm. Baby boy, you know why? Show it, always want it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you're gonna have to do. Yeah, if you say you're a victim of sexual assault, you have to prove that. All the other shit, all the other shit. Okay, fine. Fine, whatever. But the last part, bitch, are you serious? People, you shouldn't have to prove it. <laughs> the fuck? You're asking me to, like, for uh, evidence? What are you, fucking retarded? <laughs> and you made a vine, and you made a TikTok out of this. Okay. Double standards have to stop. I hop on Twitter, right? I see a video of a female hitting a dude with a car, bro. A car. Oh, right. And then she tries to hit him again. And then the females get mad in the comments because the dude gets up and then tries to hit the female once she gets out the car. She literally tries to kill this dude, bro. And then this girl tries to justify the fact that even though she hit him with a car, the guy shouldn't have hit her. <laughs> she then pulls up a prank video on domestic violence to defend... Okay, so this is a good one, though. This is a good one. <laughs> ...on why men shouldn't hit females if females try to assault men. Oh, my God. This is where it gets good. Then I found out she had a TikTok. Oh, Lord! <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying men should hit women, but, bro, if a female hits me, bro, then I'm treating her like a man, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, some sanity on this fucking app. Uh, so, yeah, if you got a TikTok, follow this guy. <laughs> oh, no, it's the Asian chick again. Is that the same chick? From birth, little yeah. girls are talking. It's, it's the same chick. Fuck. <laughs> All right, what, 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 what's the what, what, what other banger point do you have for us tonight? To be on the defense when it comes <laughs> to men. From the time I could form memory, I was taught safety lessons. What's up with the fucking hand gestures? I do hand gestures in videos and shit, but it's just she, hers are so fucking precise. I think they're scripted, like they're choreographed. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Lessons. Don't walk alone at night or dangerous men will kidnap you. Always travel with a friend. When you're in a parking garage, have the keys between your fingers so you can fight men off. Don't let kidnappers take you to a second location or else you're gonna die. When you're drinking- Yeah, that's just good advice. <laughs> Don't let them take you, take you to the second location. Even fucking cops will tell you that. <laughs> Keep an eye on your drink at all times or you're gonna get roofied. <laughs> Do you know what- That was a cool effect that had no point. <laughs> what type of safety lessons my brother got? Don't talk to strangers and be back before dark. Okay, bye. What the- I love how uh, she sees women being told that basically all men are potential rapists, murderers, and 
this assaulted miscreants. She sees that as like a, as a, um, oppression against women and not the discrimination of men. Like, yeah, hey, you better be careful because a man will snatch your ass up as soon as you leave the fucking house. You better put your keys in between your fingers. Make sure you walk in groups and shit. Blah, 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 blah. And she sees she, that as an attack against women. And not men. Hmm. Well, all my male, fr all my brother was taught was to like not talk to strangers, which is okay. Oh, he was taught to not talk to strangers, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> In fact, that's actually the wrong lesson. He, for one thing, the parents should have been telling what they were telling you to him. Since men are actually are the majority of uh, like violent street crime, uh, are, are the are major majorly are the majority of uh, victims of violent street crime. So you know, oh, Doctor Cataclysm, five dollars super chat. Oh no, her parents valued her more than her brother and gave her safety advice. <laughs> exactly, they value her more. Like how I love how. They don't give a shit about telling the son <clears throat> all this detailed shit about his safety. And she sees that as an attack against her. Like, what, bitch? Are you so fucking delusional? <laughs> like, you're so up your own ass, you don't understand how <clears throat> that's a detriment to your brother and men and, and not you? Oh, God. <laughs> Dr. Cataclysm, $2 super chat. Also, Dracula review on Perma CPT. Oh, Perma. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm getting it done. I'm getting, I'm trying to get all this Batwoman shit out for y'all. And, you know, I had to slow down on the Dracula shit. And now I got to slow down on the Dracula shit again. Well, not really, but I, because I still have to finish writing it. But I have to slow down the Dracula shit a little bit so I can get the, uh, the Gotham High, uh, dramatic reading finished. So yeah, yeah, it's not color people's time. It's busy people's time. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> but yeah, she, she, like imagine being so up your own ass. Like, oh, this thing affects men more. This thing happens to men. Women affected more. <laughs> more than 11. <The> fuck. <gasps> so yes, we are aware that not all men are trash. But if little girls, by the time they reach the age of five, are taught to modify their behavior so they don't... You're taught by the age of fucking five because you're a fucking defenseless child <laughs> who needs to be wary of her surroundings just in case your parents can't be there, you fucking idiot. We're told since we were five to take care of our take care of ourselves and mind our fucking surroundings? What the fuck? <laughs> the world isn't a completely safe utopia where no ch children get snatched or raped or put into sex trafficking or murdered? What the fuck? <laughs> you moron! Attract the attention of old creepy men? You have to wonder just how many dangerous men there were to See what I'm saying? Because it, fe it feeds her already bigoted views, so she doesn't really feel the need to change them. Everything else needs to change. Why don't we tell men about my bigoted views? Why don't we teach men to be as bigoted as me? That shit doesn't seem fair. <laughs> Create a society where a five-year-old child is being taught to be on the defense. Because you're a child! You retard! You retard! From birth, little girls... <laughs> and every time, every time someone like, like her speaks, I just imagine it coming out of Jay Station's mouth. Like, yeah, that's what, that's what people should do. If you don't think what this person is saying is stupid, just hear it with Jay Station's voice. And you will change immediately change your opinion. From birth, we are taught to be mindful of men, guys. And then we have to <laughs> put keys in between our fingers, guys. And then my brother, like, all he was told was to, like, uh, <laughs> mind his circle. Like, all he was told was to not talk to strangers, guys. That's sexism, my, my guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. I've been practicing that that voice for the longest time. Every, like I'm, I'm, I think I'm really good at doing J Station's voice. 
<laughs> at this point. <laughs> Cause it's so, he's got such a retarded voice. <laughs> We're doing the summon a male rapist at 3 a.m. challenge, guys. No clickbait. <laughs> Oh, gelatin powder says as an Asian, I don't claim her. I, I don't. <laughs> Mark Alcatraz talking to strangers at 3 a.m. <laughs> we are going to talk to a random guy on the street, guys, and we're going to see if he can put us into sex delivery to see if I can justify my bigotry, guys. <laughs> oh, God. We have another Asian, not the same girl, in, in case <laughs> you were wondering. This boy hit me today. Don't worry, that's how boys tell you they like it. Oh, hang on, let me read the, uh, this is Asian Alex. This is another, no, this is the Asian chick from before. Cause there was an Asian chick, then there was another Asian chick, and now we're back to the other Asian chick after the other Asian chick. <laughs> Life through my eyes, National Woman's Day. FYP, uh, it must mean a uh, fuck your pussy. <laughs> fuck her right in the pussy. <laughs> fuck you right in the pussy. For you. Oh, for you, Paige. For you. <laughs> Viral video. Feminists. Uh, play with life. Chili's birthday. The one that got away covered by. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Cover up to these. Well, you're not. You're walking around without a fucking shirt on and your bra, you asshole. <laughs> Of course someone told you to put your fucking clothes on! <laughs> oh, this is a laugh riot. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this shit. Put some clothes on! You're not- you're half-dressed, you fucking twit! <laughs> oh my- oh shit, I accidentally clicked it off. Fuck. Talk about a future like we had a clue. You're not wearing a shirt. Why are you wearing sweatshirts? Your body is beautiful. Her arms are so big, she looks like a man. Uh, yeah, okay, you just proved that, that bullying exists. Okay, whatever. <laughs> How's it, what does it have to do with you being a woman? Ugh, the F in woman stands for funny. Wait, what? I don't know who the fuck you hang out with, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why are you eating so much? Don't you want that summer body for the boys? Like, this sounds like some shit that your female family members have told you. And now you're making it into a video about feminism, despite the fact that females have told you this. <laughs> and you're eating what, Nutter Butters? Yeah, that's just fucking shit to your snacks. Like, step your snack game up. <laughs> what the fuck, they suck. I would date her, but well, she's flat as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, that's disrespect. That's pretty disrespectful. <clears throat> but like I said, yeah, you disparaging comments from family members exist. Bullying exists. I don't see why it's female specific, uh, female centric. But how do I look? You're going out in that? Yep, yeah, that sounds like some mom shit or some dad shit. <laughs> sounds like no, go change. Well, see, we don't see the rest of the outfit, so you could very well be, who knows, you could be wearing a thong <laughs> behind the camera. Red Rose Spark 999 Super Chat. I just had to send this. I debated a feminist, and she literally said bras are originally sexualizing women. I lost it. It was the stupidest thing. Wow, I'm, I'm really sorry, and thank you for the Super Chat. Oh, God. Remember, never leave your drink alone. Yeah, good advice. If you're out in public, alone, well, especially alone. Check the back seat and always lock the door first thing. Yeah, parents are trying to protect you, you asshole. It's not. It's par yeah, and it's partially because you're a girl, but you're. They it means they value you a lot. That's why they're telling you to value yourself a lot. 
Aha! I think I came up with a banger point right there, baby. <laughs> they value you a lot and they want you to value yourself just as much as they value you. So, yeah. That's what it is. Imagine hearing that shit and thinking that it's because they're being sexist and somehow that debilitates your life. I'm mean, technically, they are being a little sexist. If they're not, if you have like a brother and they're not telling him that shit. But they're not being sexist really towards you. It's towards the brother. <laughs> they don't value him as much as they value you. You should be standing up for your little brother and say, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> he could get raped too. What the fuck? Carry the pepper spray I gave you. I know it's just a little get together with your friends, but still. All right, all right, whatever. Oh yeah, boy hit me today. That means he likes you. Like, who's telling you that shit at 18? <laughs> no one tells you that shit at 18. When you're five, maybe. Oh shit. Working woman soap in Austin, Texas. Oh, mate with grit. Oh. I can kind of see where this is going. No matter how hot, no matter how hard I tried, I could never find the soap that could take off all the dirt on my hands and keep them soft. Okay. And she tagged this feminist. Working woman soap in Austin, Texas. Okay. I gotta pause it a little bit because I don't want to get no copyright strike problems. Oh wait, okay. Okay, this is okay. This is fine. I wouldn't tag it feminist if I were you. People would fuck, give you give this video a wide berth. <clears throat> but yeah, that sounds cool. She's selling soap. Maybe you know, hit up her TikTok and get that fucking soap. You working women out there, I have nothing bad to say about this. Except for like, why would you tag it, feminist? Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Out to play ball so we could ruin them. In Mexico, it's dangerous to be a woman. Mexico. Mama said that. There are 10 femicides a day. Femicides, women killing themselves or women, no, women deaths. Okay, but you can't say that's sexist until you hear about the cause, like, like, what, like, what was the cause? What's the cause of it? And plus, I want to see these schematics. <laughs> I want to see these stats up against how many men die a day in Mexico. You know, damn well, the number of men dying in Mexico is higher. I bet you, I'll bet money that, it, that the number is higher. Said it was okay. We said it no. Mama said that it was fine. Women of all races, social and economic classes, religions, and ages came together. And in one voice demanded justice. Okay. okay, so all of you said so far is that 10 women get killed a day or die a day. And we said femicides, but like, we don't, okay. I want to see some schematic. Like, women die every day, and we're fighting against that. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems a little silly. Women die every day, and we're going to march in this fucking streets until that stops happening. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to skip this one. I don't know. A after that, that kind of, like, ruined me. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm, I, I can only laugh at it now. Uh, evil hero, diamond cat, two dollars super chat. Get, glad to see you streaming. Missed your live stuff. Thank you. I miss my live stuff too. Oh my god, is that bitch again? <laughs> oh but yeah. Oh, sorry for interrupting my my um my acknowledgments of your super chat. But yeah, thank you. I miss my streams too, and I wanted to do something before I get started on the last Batwoman reaction, and before I start working on my uh my Gotham High video, so. So thank God I was able, oh, is she talking about Adam Driver in this? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my God, hang on, I'll get to it in a second. Future feminist in the making? Oh, there we go, perfect. <laughs> yeah, I see right. This is the happiest place on earth, right, Ella? In my arms. Yeah. Can you turn around? Eh, don't say that to a baby. <laughs> Maybe not, not say that to a baby. Oh, so she's uh... crying because now she can't see me. Yay! Hello! 
Yeah, and that other Gaston is way better. I forgot who he was. Like, it's the one who he puts on a show constantly. He's constantly in character. This guy seems more like a dude, douche bro Chad <laughs> version of <laughs> Gaston. <laughs> The baby's not feeling this. Maybe because she knew you tagged this f future feminist. <laughs> uh, Z Master seven seven two dollars super chat. That Gaston is thick. Like I, I hate to break it to y'all, but y'all y'all know that most of that is padding, right? It's fucking padding. You can tell that it's padding. <laughs> it's not real muscles. Y'all thirsting over Sealy Posturpedic <laughs> material. <laughs> anyway, next. Let me get to this chick first. I I got I got a hot on for this chick. <laughs> hey guys, here's a list of straight men that are exempt from Kill All Men 2020 Part One. Oh God. <laughs> These are the men I will not be killing <laughs> this year. Oh, and Kill All Men is like, girl. Like I said before, update your fucking bullshit. Update it. Probably. This man's right here because all men is trash except for him and Timothy Shablagoo, so he- Timothy Chalamet, so fucking predictable. Pick one of the whitest boys and the whitest- <laughs> The whitest boys and all of whiter boydom. Oh my god. Stay. Obviously we need our King John drinking that- John Mulaney! <laughs> it's the usual suspects! The same lame ass! Moist mother- moist ass motherfuckers! <laughs> John Mulaney, he's got mental illness and he's so like totes adorbs and he loves his wife and he really tanked S SNL's comedy. With <laughs> he really tanked it. He's such a hero. Now respect women juice. Ryan and Shane from BuzzFeed Unsolved. Say yeah, I don't know who they are. <laughs> Oscar Isaac for being foreign as hell. Being foreign as hell and nothing else. Not his views, nothing. He's just... Nice to look at. He's muy caliente, as they say. <laughs> you know this bitch? You know this bitch trying to get that Latin lover shit happening? <laughs> get yours, Astrid. Get it! <laughs> that Cuban daddy shit. John oh. Boyega for being underrated. Lakeith Stanfield. You, th you think she... Well, who knows? She's probably not a Raylo. That's probably why she hasn't put, a, put him on her shit list. Because sorry to bother you slapped. Obviously... Slap! Oh, here it comes. The Adam needs to be here because if he's gone, who's gonna teach me how to be a top tier actor? I oh god, <laughs> so Chris. Just want one master class, please. Chris Evans can stay, but only with the beard. The only only with the beard. Well, like I said, they only give a shit about her their fucking looks. But you say anything about their looks? Or base your attraction or association with them on their looks, then it's all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's a fucking problem. Chris Evans, but only with the beard. Ugh. Chris Evans is kind of insufferable on Twitter, by the way. <laughs> Sebastian, I stand is Sebastian Stan, so he's here. Sebastian Stan is kind of hot. I saw a movie with him recently where he was piping uh, Shailene Woodley. It was pretty good. <laughs> it was a pretty good movie. What would the world be? I forgot what it was fucking called though. Just look up Shane. Just look, just look up um, Sebastian Stan's IMDb, and whatever movie he was in with Shailene Woodley. That's the one I'm talking about. That came out recently, like this year. <laughs> but he's pretty good. He's kind of fine in that. He kind of kills it in the romantic area. I'm not gonna lie. His character's kind of a mess, but you know, he's still he's still hot. I'll give her that, but like, I won't give her that because she's awful. Without Robert Downey Jr., honestly. <laughs> like, the same standard ass white boys. Like, I love Robert Downey Jr., okay? But she picks the same standard ass people. Like, John Boyega, like, anyone who was in a, uh, a popular franchise. <laughs> Star Wars. This guy was in a Star Wars. This guy was in a Disney. <laughs> this guy was in a Marvel. <laughs> it's like, gotta catch them all. It's like, no, it's like, Collect all of these, collect all of these for action figures right now. <laughs> oh my god. Tom Holland can stay, precious boy. Tom Hiddleston, because he's- Toms, of course you gotta put the Toms in there. All the Marvel Toms. <laughs> oh god. My everything. And the final Tom on this list, Tom Hanks. <laughs> I mean, well, we know 
know she's not probably not want. She just probably doesn't want to fuck all these guys. <laughs> but I don't know when Tom Hanks popped up. I was like, oh, please tell me you ain't trying to get piped by Tom Hanks. <laughs> please tell me you ain't trying to get piped by Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. The only Donald that will ever respect, Donald Glover. Oh yeah, get it? Because Donald Trump is awful. There's no one else named Donald who's cool like Donald Duck. You dumb bitch. <laughs> Donald Gleason because they did Huck's Dirty. Last See what I'm saying? They've all been in something. <laughs> it's not but at least my second semester musical theater professor, Joel Bischoff. Oh, oh, oh. I hope you didn't see us and see this shit. <laughs> you know how they say, I hope she sees it. Hope she, I, I, you know how they say, I hope she sees this. Well, with feminists, you got, you have to say, I hope he doesn't see this. <laughs> I hope he doesn't see this shit. Hey guys, here's a list of straight men that are exempt from kill all men 2020. I want to know what the second part is. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Cause you said that's part one. <clears throat> oh, we need to go her page right quick. I want to see what part, I want to see part two. <laughs> I want to see part two. Oh my god, she did some George Floyd videos. Uh, I'm guessing. Hang on a sec, because she had the purple on the purple fucking wingtips. <laughs> Hang on a second. Come on, give me. Exempt from Kill All Men 2020 Part One. Okay, yeah, okay, wait a minute. In honor of the blackout protest tomorrow, here are some black content creators that I think you should all go follow. <laughs> I'm trying to find part C. If this was just had the fucking dates on it. Oh my God. No, yeah, let me go back to what I was doing. Cause I'm gonna be on this bitch's channel all day. Dicking around. All right, well. Here are some inventions by women for the little boy that commented that every accomplishment in history was made by men and that women just take credit for it. Kevlar. The f uh, who, bitch, who are you talking to? Like who you talking to? You talk, <laughs> these chicks are around like either toddlers <laughs> Or like the worst dude possible and like like yeah i'm not gonna get back at you in public but i when i get to my TikTok, you're in so much trouble <laughs> fire escape life rafts fireproof material the apgar score medical syringes chemo radio um, Shelby MD, $5 Super Chat, it's your theater teacher. I've come to return your money. I failed you as a teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you for the Super Chat and thank you for referencing one of my movie reviews. You're, you were a real one. <laughs> thank you. Biochemistry. Earth's inner core was discovered by a woman, as was HIV and vitamins E. Vi HIV was discovered by a woman? <laughs> How many dicks did she suck until that happened? And B12. <laughs> No, I'm just playing. But yeah. <laughs> Central heating, the electric water heater, the windshield wiper. The structure of DNA was discovered by a woman. Like, keep in mind, like, these chicks are young, so they're probably around dudes who are either A, really young and dumb, or B, trolling the shit out of them and they don't even know it. Now, these are just a few of the things that women have done for this world. And if any man says that this is just a fraction of what men have accomplished, he'd be right. But that's not because women are just as capable and intelligent. It's because men keep women silenced and unrecognized. <laughs> <laughs> they keep women silent and unrecognized. I'm sure a man invented TikTok and he is the reason why you were on here whining about a fucking disagreement you had in lunch in your fucking lun lunch table. <laughs> Some things to say to misogynists when they're, you know, being misogynistic. The Asian feminists again. Oh, <laughs> These are my personal favorites, feminist, liberal, Democrat, Bernie 2020, Biden 2020. You cannot be both of these things at once. I'm sorry, but you can't. It's not allowed. <laughs> Original sound, music track. Okay, that's nothing. A little gambling is fun when you're with me. I'm gonna I'm gonna fire off my 
pain, my anguish, pains, noises, so I don't get copyrighted for this music. Nah, Catch you when you're being emotional. Now. Is it that time of the month? If you're being told that on a regular basis, then you're probably are an over over you probably are an over emotional basket case. I'm sorry, I've never fucking had a guy tell me that. You're being over emotional. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Calm down. It's your time of the month. I've never had that. Got a whole bunch of male. Got a whole bunch of fucking male um, family members. That I've been around and I probably freaked out around uh, a couple times or had uh, disagreements with and like they never fucking told me that <laughs> like male cousins and shit got a lot of dudes in our family never been told that <laughs> if so if someone's telling you that you probably just need to listen and maybe um unless you were actually 100% being reasonable and they're just being a prick. Anyway, yeah, that was that was weak. What else we got? Ugh. Let me get this straight. You raised my generation. Oh God, I already don't like her. <laughs> on Divergent, on Harry Potter, oh, on God. the Avatar, and then you expect us that when you tell us what to do, we're just going to listen. What's this? For one thing, this is based on a quote. Probably from Tumblr or some... <clears throat> some fucking place. It's like... Yeah, I think it might have been Tumblr. Like, we grew up with, um... Divergent Harry Potter and, um... Like, Divergent Harry Potter and Hunger Games. You expect us... And you do... You expect us to stand down when, when injustice strikes or some shit like that. She butchered the fucking quote. She butchered it worse than I did. <laughs> she stole that shit and she butchered it so bad! <laughs> Like, girl! Oh, she butchered it so bad. Hang on a second. <clears throat> I need to do something right quick. It'll just be a second. Okay. Uh, just checking some shit. Let's, all right, let's go back. Boom. But anyway, yeah, she butchered the fuck out of that. <laughs> she like stared to the camera like oh, oh cringe you fucked it up expect us not to start a fucking revolution it's not to start a fucking revolution she even she even knows she's fucking it up no oh wow and this has got 120 uh, uh, <laughs> 120 102 fucking thousand likes how <laughs> <laughs> How? She fucked up so bad. Oh. Oh, I had her. Oh, fuck. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Oh, here we go. Now it's time to misquote a famous person. <laughs> oh, no, she probably didn't misquote him, but like usually in this in cases like these, they misquote them. I see, I see a lot of wallets. I'm sorry. This is what. That's a fucking term I saw on the other person's TikTok account. Calling someone wallets. Wait, what? I see wallets saying they're fans of Nirvana. Do you guys even re even know that Kurt literally hates you? <laughs> well, he's dead, so. <laughs> it doesn't matter! Yeah, I don't think they give a shit about what a dead guy sa uh, says about him. Who <laughs> that? What a dead guy said about him fucking twenty years ago. He doesn't even like you. This is my interpretation as a cunt. Okay. <laughs> Can we appreciate this feminist king? <laughs> yeah, he's such a feminist that he stayed around and uh, got killed by his girlfriend. <laughs> Feminism. <laughs> Uh, the problem with groups who deal with rape, if you can't even spell out the fucking word rape, you're not a, as badass as you think you are. The saying is that they try to educate women about how to defend themselves. What really needs to be done is teaching men not to rape. Like, you know, not all musicians, mu a lot of musicians aren't all there, right? 
They say really dumb shit. <laughs> as intellectual as they think they are, like they'll say some shit that's so fucking retarded. It's harder to, it's easier to teach people how to defend themselves against rapists than it is to change someone's entire fucking mentality. <laughs> Besides, you can't teach someone not to be a rapist because, no, you just can't, you can't do that. I'm not saying it's impossible, but you're assuming that boys are all pre-designed pre to rape and then all you gotta, you gotta really gotta get at them about not raping people. But if their mind is already set on raping, then it's, it's too late. They're done. You fail as a parent. It's fucked. It's over. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, uh, Kurt Cobain said something stupid. That That is if he even said this shit. Uh, LaDante Latronta, I think that quote came from him. I'm not even fucking sure. It probably, I bet money it didn't. <laughs> oh, Sizzler's sister says apparently wallets means men. Like, I guess guys who only, whose only redeeming quality is their money. Really? <laughs> Meanwhile, these bitches will, will fucking spend their parents' money on the latest Marvel movie on the latest like trashy fucking makeup to, <laughs> to look like a clown on TikTok with fucking thousand dollar computer, $600 phone and got the nerve to call men wallets. Really? Only redeeming, even the only redeeming quality about you was your money. Well, at least they got money. <laughs> at least they got their own fucking money. So if they have the only, if their only redeeming quality is their money, then you must have no redeeming qualities, you poor bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you, you started it. You started it. You started Women that fucking shit. Are born with pain built in. Okay. This is too real. <laughs> Fleabag, Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, mind you, is going to be writing the next Bond movie. Yay. <laughs> I can't wait for James Bond to be ruined. Period pain, sore boobs. Period pain, sore boobs. It's called, uh, it's called, um, what the fuck is it called again? Puberty? <laughs> Maybe, uh, sore boobs from, you know, sleeping on them wrong. Too much breast, like, you know, little rough breast breastfeeding, shit like that. Oh, uh, Daniela Brintz, $5 super chat. Oh no, some guy I don't know is who is also dead hates me. <laughs> we got breast pain. We got period pains. Like, oh, really? Like, really? This is not something imposed upon you. It's something that, uh, biologically we have to do in order to get other things like babies. <laughs> Cleaning out our uterus it would be essential. Like, you know, I think that's needed. Complaining about shit you were born with. Oh, Jesus Christ. Un unless you are mentally challenged or born with gender dysphoria, don't fucking complain <laughs> about a goddamn thing. Unless you were, like I said, you, unless you were born with a mental illness or deformed or some shit like that, you have no right to complain. I get my fucking period. You don't know pain like I do. Uh, yeah. Well, okay, Karen. Um, I was born with uh both my legs amputated, both my legs amputated and my arms, and I have to fucking drive with a spatula. <laughs> and every time I have sex with someone, they. <laughs> No, 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 no. I was going to say something fucked up and forget it. But yeah, but you, you know, you have period pains, whatever. You're the real victim. Fuck off. Childbirth, you know, we carry it with... Childbirth, which we can choose not to have. <laughs> throughout our lives. Men don't. They have to seek it out. They invent all these gods and demons and things so they can feel guilty about things, which is something... Oh, Jesus Christ. This is considered good writing. This is considered the greatest writer. Like, it's people like really, uh, 
she's like critically acclaimed. <laughs> and this is the bitch who's going to be writing James Bond. Oh, fear me. Fear it. Fear it. Run from it. A Jonathan Crow, five pound super chat. The big problem is that these people don't want to take any personal responsibility for themselves and expect everyone else to simp for them. True. And thank you for that super chat. Oh my God. Bertram uh, uh, Jessel, Jesselnick? J- Jis- oh my God. Jesselnick. Jesselnick? Oh my God. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your fucking name. But he says, I tore my foreskin. <laughs> Yeah, that seems like some serious fucking pain. Oh, Puffball says she's critically acclaimed because she has the right politics. Yeah, clearly. Oh, I'm gonna be right back. I need some tissue for my nose. Oh. oh, honestly, I'm still thinking about that wallet jab. That shit. Like, imagine calling a man a wallet and thinking that's a fucking insult. Like, oh, you're saying I have money that you will eventually try to sponge off me because you have no fucking references of a human being other than gender studies? Thank you, <laughs> bitch. Anyway, getting back to this. Yeah, this is oh my god. I did I was I was gonna try to watch this show too. <laughs> I really was. To give it a chance because I heard good things, but now I'm like, no. no. <laughs> we do. I don't wanna hear this shit. Very well on our own. And then they create walls, so they They create walls <laughs> can feel things and touch each other and when they What the fuck? <laughs> They created well. This is such so vapid. This is this is vapid as that movie Crash. That was, it's basically the same fucking quote almost. It's like um, like we're so fucked up, we just crash into each other just so we could feel something. It's like shut the fuck up, <laughs> you corny ass motherfucker. <laughs> this is so corny. Um, yeah. They have they have walls so they can touch each other, lady. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna break it to you, but some men are gay and they don't need wars to do that. <laughs> the fuck you talking about? What you talking about? Clearly, this bitch is drunk. I mean, come on, look at that. And there aren't any wars. They can play rugby, and we have it all going on in here. We have pain on a cycle for years and years. That is, I love a period pains. It's so painful. It's just as bad. Being born a woman is just as bad as being born with schizophrenia, missing limbs, cleft palates. It's all the same shit. <laughs> it's all the same, guys. <laughs> White women. <laughs> no, 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 it's better. No, no, it's better to just say, call her Karen <laughs> and end it. Karen, why are you daring to say such stupid shit? <laughs> and years, and then, just when you feel you are making peace with it all, what happens? The menopause comes. The fucking menopause comes. Oh God! As if men don't struggle with their fucking age. Get the fuck out of here. As if they don't go through changes as well. It may not be menopause. But come on, like, what the fuck? And it's this selfish ass shit. <laughs> the most wonderful fucking thing in the world. And yes, your entire pelvic floor crumbles and you get fucking hot and no one cares. But then you're 
free. Women. Okay, so she's basically the whole clip is just some pretentious jibe over her fucking period. Like, like just some pretentious gripe she has about her fucking period. And oh, one day you get old enough to not have it anymore, and it's great. End scene. <laughs> But she had to make it about fucking men and how they have easier because they don't have a fucking period. Even though she just said they are in wars, <laughs> which I'm sure they die in. But, you know, she has her period. So and that's that's the worst thing in the world is to have is your fucking period. Oh, <laughs> now, like. Now I to I'm totally on board with that misogyny meme. It's that's why it's always funny because you got shit like that. When you're a feminist up until you have to talk about that girl you don't like. I like cash in my hair to my ass. Do the dash, can you make it go fast? Fuck the fame, all I want is them bands. If she Okay, when you're a feminist until you yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> that's exactly how I feel. Oh! That's exactly Quit trolling my hole. <laughs> Wait, abortion is essential. Quit trolling my hole. <clears throat> As if children just magically pop up into your uterus and think, I'm gonna fuck this bitch up. I'm gonna be housing shit. <laughs> I'm gonna treat her whole like Minnesota. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck it up. Like, bitch. Stop trolling my whole. Like, are, who are you talking to? <laughs> Literally. No. One. As. You. And, and of course, the middle finger at the screen. This, of course, amplifies badassery in every. In every. On every occasion. And no, I was being sarcastic. Actually, it fucking doesn't. It's so cringe. I think even most rappers stopped doing it. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't remember. Well, no. I don't think that's true. I think rappers still do it, but it's still fucking cringe as hell. Countries led by women seem to be doing part seem to be particularly successful in fighting the coronavirus. The same fucking shit. I'm not. I don't want to hear the same shit. Oh my god! Look at this asshole. If he's simping, we all know what it's for. Cause look at him. Look at him. Look at him. If he's simping, that is. If he ain't, then like, yeah, total Chad. And I congratulate you. So, this Excuse the birds in the background. They're loud when I'm making TikTok. Sorry about it. Feminism, feminism, victim blaming. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think he's a simper. For all the people that say that people get raped because of what they're wearing. Um, oh, yeah. He's totally doing it for the veg. <laughs> he's got the fuck boy. He's got the... He's got a chain. He's got the fuckboy clothing on. He's no it's sleeveless with a hood. At least I think that he has a hood in the back. But whatever, it's still sleeveless and it's supreme clothing. He is, and he's got a rug on the wall. <laughs> he's totally doing this for pussy. Oh, wow. <laughs> and he doesn't even seem invested at all. I haven't even, I've only heard one line and I'm like, nah, nigga, you don't believe this shit. You don't believe a word you're saying. Doesn't add, does it? So this one's for all the people that say that people get raped because of what they're wearing. Um, I'm gonna kick the shit out of you, and then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Sim. <clears throat> <clears throat> Nigga, you are built for aesthetic, for twit, for TikTok aesthetic. You are not built to built to beat anyone's ass. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. And he's got another one. He's got another one. Okay, I'm gonna address something that keeps in the comments. Um, it, something. Using the Star Wars sound to draw in the salty little boys. Never fit in one community feminist. CEO of Simp! <laughs> ah, no! He fucking wears it like a badge of honor. Oh shit, but like I said, I don't think he believes anything he's fucking saying. I think this is just for the pussy. People keep saying, like, a good key opens a lot of locks, but a bad lock opens a lot of keys or something. He doesn't even get the fucking quote right. <laughs> like, a bad lock is a piece... He said a bad lock is... Oh, shit, there's a fucking bug on my wall. God damn it. 
There's a bug on my wall. I just want to throw this old bottle at it. I don't know. That, ugh, fuck it. I'm just going to let him go where he needs to go. It's just a little bug anyway. I don't think it's a spider or anything. Fuck it. It's like um, a lot of a good key can open up a lot of locks, but a a lock that fuck even I can't get it right. But I'm sure he fucking botched that shit. He's not invested at all. Joshua Buckle says you can't open a key. <laughs> Um, I don't know why I have to explain this. Women are not locks, believe it or not. So, oh Jesus Christ, he is not in. He just doing it for the puss. <laughs> oh God, this is so embarrassing. Oh, if you could stop comparing women to objects, just like as a general rule of thumb, that would be a great first step. And I think you know who I'm talking to right now. <laughs> and if you would stop gelling your hair. And pretending you care about women, so just so you could fuck them, that would be really nice. Because when you get to a certain age, it's not gonna work anymore. So, <laughs> and that fucking that laugh at the end, he doesn't give a single shit. <laughs> he just doing it for the puss. It's another simp. Please don't In my be another experience, simp. the only people who have ever brought up issues that impact men because they actually care about the issues are women who are feminists. And the only time. <laughs> Oh, you're black and gay? Yeah, I don't know why the fuck you're standing up for feminists. Men have ever brought up issues that impact men. It's black, gay, and a man. Like, yeah, you really, feminists really don't give a fuck about you. Oh, uh, wary statue 33, $2 super chat. A simp is a rapist in training. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. I think male feminists, because not all male feminists are, well, damn, that's not true. <laughs> Yeah, I think yeah, I think you might be right, and thank you for the super chat. <laughs> it's because they think that they're somehow counter arguments against feminist ideologies, which they aren't. And the fact they that men aren't. behave that way makes me feel very unsettlingly genocidal. In my experience, the only people who have ever brought up issues that impact men because they actually care about the issues are women who are feminists. And the only time men have ever brought up issues that impact men, bruh, like. What have they done to you, bro? What are they, they're looking at it massacred my boy. It's because they think that they're somehow counter arguments against feminist ideologies, which they aren't. And the fact that men behave that way makes me feel very unsettlingly genocidal. Of course it does. You, oh, this chick again! <laughs> She's back! I gotta go to this one first, of this course. This is what it's like to be a girl. Boy, bye. Speak your mind. Speak your truth. Feminism. Feminist boy, bye. Again. Dear girls. If your skirt is too short, you're a slut. If your skirt no no <laughs> skirt is too long, you're a prude. If you don't give cat collars attention, then you're rude. Like no one fucking is this simplistic in their views unless they're a complete asshole. But shit like that, you don't you we haven't heard that shit in fifty years. Like if you oh if her skirt's too 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 short, she's a slut. Automatically, I don't know who she's banged. I don't know if she's banged anybody, but she's a slut. Completely. When strangers make comments about your body, don't catch an attitude because it's a compliment. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, God. Not just don't catch an attitude, just ignore it. It's not hard to fucking ignore comments. All I see is male entitlement. If you catcall, you need to stop because you look so fucking poor. So she's classist then. Cat calling makes you look poor. So she's a classist. Okay, we know where her head's at now. You look like a poor person when you yell out compliments at people in a very boorish way. If you're boorish, you're poor. So we know where this bitch is at. <laughs> we know where she's at. Wow. Wow. Poor in intelligence. Poor in social skills. Poor in mental health, poor in self confidence, and poor in self. Why would they be poor in self confidence if they're clearly yelling at you and making their presence known to you and they're 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 daring enough to yell shit at you 
Yeah, whatever. Worth. <laughs> the reason guys catcall isn't because that they're hoping one day a girl will finally say yes. It's because they're insecure and they're in such a dark place that they need to bring someone down. A dark place? <laughs> After seeing those videos from back in the day of like 10 hours of a woman walking through New York being catcalled, like I just, no. <laughs> I just can't take it seriously anymore. Malaysia Morgan, one dollar super chat. Thank you. Down with them. So if a guy yells at, "Hey, you're beautiful," he's poor, <laughs> and he's um, he's entitled, and what else? Uh... And what do insecure people do? Oh, and he's insecure. Oh, but the the woman who's fucking complaining that men are saying things about her appearance. She's not insecure. <laughs> She's not insecure at all. They sounds like projection to me. Get aggressive. And if you're a guy and all your friends catcall but you don't, you're just as bad as them because misery loves company. Oh, Jesus Christ. She is the worst person out of everyone that we've covered so far. Even worse than fuckboy McGee over here. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's be poppin hood to get it. Would this be okay? Excuse me, can you please cover your tattoos or disturbing my kids? Yeah, that would make you a camera. Okay, but, but let's see what uh what they're what they're comparing. Oh wait, shit, the breastfeeding mom is put up with. Oh why so To be honest, that's not yeah, that's still a false equivalence. Even though um yeah, it is kind of rude saying, "Hey, you're, get your put your titty back in your shirt, you bitch." <laughs> when you're when a mother's breastfeeding your kid, it is disrespectful. But this is still a false fucking equivalence. It's not the same thing. Um, and Andres Antonio Gonzalez Caceres. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. When Bat Cringe episode twenty review? When is the Bat Cringe episode twenty review come out? Probably next about around the same time as I released the last one. Probably around Saturday, possibly, because I'm I'm like so I'm gonna get started on it tomorrow. Go full tilt into it. Try to get it out by that sat Friday, that Friday or Saturday. Oh, uh, spoiler! Mouse dies. Why did well, why are you spoil it for everybody? <laughs> like hopefully not. Hopefully some of y'all didn't see that. <laughs> like don't don't spoil it for everybody. I should, oh, I should, knew I shouldn't have read the rest of that shit. <laughs> but thank you for the super chat. Love you. And why is this? Well, for one thing, because your titty is usually hanging out. I'm like, I'm not saying it's right to go up to someone and be like, hey, put your titty away. But tattoos are not the same as titties. <clears throat> Some people don't want to see titties in public, whatever. But it ain't the same thing as tattoos. It's not the same fucking thing. Oh, let's get over that. Uh, we're done with that one. I get, got, we got the flavor of that. I don't like people who mislead their audiences, Chloe. Have it hard in society. I think probably the most relevant one and the one that impacts the majority of the male sex is the fact that they're not allowed to be victims. I love how, I love how this bitch is just like, She's probably going to spit some true facts, some real facts. It's probably not going to be as in-depth because it is TikTok. But she's like, oh, you stupid bitch. <laughs> How dare you say men have problems? <laughs> she's literally getting a fucking attitude and putting this bitch on blast because she dared to say that men also have problems in society. Like, really? You dead-eyed Amber Heard-looking whore? <laughs> Not a you who were? <laughs> they're laughed at when they're sexually assaulted. They're not believed when they're abused. The ridicule and victim blaming of male survivors is is all because of the patriarchy, right? You fucking vapid idiot. Usually delivered by men who think that it's unmanly to be abused. You no, know, because women never laugh at dudes who are assaulted. That never happens. Oh yeah, look up Amber Heard and um, <laughs> tell me that men don't get fucking laughed at for being abused. Look up Amber Heard and the Johnny Depp shit and, and tell me, like, she fucking said to his face, Amber Heard, that no one will fucking believe you. You're a guy. Like, you think anyone's gonna fucking believe that I was abusing you? That doesn't matter. Sexual assault or not, it doesn't fucking matter. We're talking about, like, abuse in general. 
Men are the first ones to be fucking arrested in a domestic abuse uh, dispute. Despite it doesn't matter if he did it or not. Even if he if he's the one being abused, and there's not not one mark on her, he's gonna be the first one to be arrested. And if you don't believe that, you haven't been through much in your life. <laughs> Read shit. <laughs> Um, oh, Tom Fenton. I took off my glasses at the wrong time. Tom Fenton, $20 super chat. Little off topic. <laughs> a little off, to- off topic, boo, but I am grateful you are still making content consistently, even when involved in EFAP. Seeing as it has become content diabetes <laughs> for guys like Rex, aka his fur fang ass hasn't put up shit in seven months. Thanks. Well, I'm not like in that involved in EFAP where I'm like always hanging around him. I'm still, I still got plenty of time to do my own shit. It was like, cause like rags and mauler, they're, they're, they're like their own package. They both run that shit. So, so yeah, he is like, yeah, he would be kind of like behind on, on content. Cause he's, he's working on that while doing, trying to do his own thing. <sighs> yeah, but don't give him too much shit. Like it's like, he's trying to keep that afloat and his own channel. And I'm pretty sure he's doing that shit. Damn near by himself. Yeah, that's not again. Yeah, lay off him a little bit. You try not to compare, you know, me and Rags or like, <clears throat> or like me and other YouTubers because like, it's totally different circumstances. But like I say, yeah, she's a bitch. <laughs> she's a bitch. It's because of the patriarchy. Men do it to each other. Women don't ever do anything wrong. Ahmed told me in bed last night that men go through absolutely nothing where like the strong, like they're the most strongest people. And then like, and they only hate each other and not women. And he, t- he told me this as he handed me my sexy lingerie burka. <laughs> we blame them for their own oppression. Who is- and it's for one thing she said, society problems in society. She did not say women did this shit. So the fact that you're being defensive about this shit is is your own insecurity. The fact that you have to share oppression is just so hard on you. Uh, Sophie $5 super chat as an anatomy nerd, what the CW did to Mouse's face and that one Batwoman makes me crazy. It's like they couldn't Google face muscles. (laughs) Yeah, fucking Batwoman. I just, (laughs) I can't wait to be done with this shit. Until next year, because next year, I, I, of course, I'll probably end up doing the first few episodes just to see how the, the new chick they're going to get does, if they get a new chick. Part of me wants them to just fucking end it. <laughs> but if they get a new actress, then yeah, of course, I'll probably be in there for the first few episodes. Get a flavor of it. If it's not as bad, like if it's just plain old bad when it comes back and it's not funny bad, then... <laughs> Then I'm not going to continue continue it. I'm just going to be like, fuck it. I'm just going to end it at the first season and season one, episodes th- one through three. <laughs> like season two, episodes one through three, and then end it there. But oh, I hate this bitch. She, she even got that like little white girl, mean girl thing going on with her. I don't like that shit. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> we, because if by we, you mean... And like... Yeah, if, if, all like, people I'm, living in a patriarchal society, you'd technically be correct. See, it's patriarchy. That means I'm not responsible for any of the shit that I may or may not put men through because it's, it's, it's all through pay. It's all filtered through patriarchy. So if we're all living in a patriarchal society, then why the fuck should I trust your your views on fa- feminism? How you know that's not t- tainted by the fucking patriarchy? You see what I'm saying? You see how this shit don't make no sense? <laughs> patriarchal society, but you're the only one with common sense, right? <laughs> You're the only one. You're wo- you're so woke, you're so awake, and we're all asleep and in the fucking matrix, <laughs> hooked up to our fucking hooked up to our fucking machines. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. We're living in a patriarchy, so you're wrong. It's all just men doing it to each other. <laughs> Basically saying, nah, fuck you. Women don't need to do anything wrong. You stupid tattooed whore. <laughs> You're such a, you're such a fucking, ta- look, your tattoos are so low class. <laughs> Ahmed said that nice girls don't have tattoos. <laughs> so, and he has the brown dick. And so he knows what, what's up. <laughs> Albatross flight, $5 super chat. More often it's 
women who shame male victims because they think males steal attention away from feminism. Yep. Plus, I've seen like stories of women, like they like there was one chick who found out his her boyfriend got raped or molested when he was a kid, some shit like that. And then she said she couldn't get, uh, she couldn't fuck him anymore because she couldn't see him as manly anymore. But he has no, but he has patriarchy because of men. She has no agency as a woman. Like her, her, her views were clearly influenced by men. She's not a cunt. <laughs> there are no females who are cunts. It's just the patriarchy. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The people who fall victim to the patriarchy are not just women. Men are victims too. I feel like the male gender has done a really good job of being like, hey, we fucked up. I apologize, right? Have they not? Chloe, which men are you talking about? Because I would love to meet them, believe me. Men don't take up 40% domestic violence victims. They're 60. Where the fuck did you find that statistic? Please. Maybe where they fucking actually perform these statistics. <laughs> she's got a. Oh, she's got. A, women are likely more likely to be physically emotionally. Actually, like I think men have. Uh, or like actually make up forty percent, but it's still that's still pretty fucking high. <laughs> it's nearly half and half. Um, women are more likely to be physically, emotionally, and sexually abused. Women are far more likely to be killed by their abusive male partners. Yeah, that's why lesbian. Uh, so why lesbian couples are like actually the most abusive <coughs> couples according to uh you know statistics if you fucking read shit <laughs> the only thing she reads is the veins on Ahmed's cock that's all she needs to read that's all she reminds me of that fuck a fucking scene from that movie 13 with Evan Rachel Wood she was <laughs> she just got done uh, fucking her like her little uh, black boyfriend and then she was like if we all fucked black guys and we all had a mixed race child there'd be no prejudice <laughs> but, but she was th a 13 year old and and dumb and not in and, and dumb and not experienced in anything so it kind of makes sense but the fact that I can picture this bitch saying it <laughs> it doesn't do her any favors it's so fucking del that type type of delusion and idiocy, like, I can, ooh, it's, it's all over this bitch. I can feel it, a bad juju. <laughs> oh, Olivia Gall, BBC will stop racism. <laughs> Uh, Frank Wasson, this blonde is a wannabe YouTube commentator with shitty editing. Wait, is she? Like, if I look her up, hold on, hang on a second. Oh, look at that. Because if she's got YouTube videos. <laughs> she might become the new Riley Dennis on my channel. Yee-hee-hoo. Cause she's saying some straight up bullshit and she's awful. She, her attitude is just stank. She's just, fu she's funky as hell. I don't like this bitch. She's the type of chick that would make you hate white women. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh my god, I eat plutocrats did a fucking debate with this black dude. It look who looks like a black Trump supporter. Is this the same chick? Because she got like a little Hang on a sec. I'm just looking some stuff up right quick. Just a minute. Let's see if I can find this bitch. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, might not be the same trick. Well, let me go to that debate. Maybe they link her YouTube channel in there. All right, I gotta obsess over this later. Cause you think she'd have a fucking YouTube channel, but I'm not surprised she doesn't. Then she would have to actually f make fucking points instead of doing like little text bubbles. Women are far less, far more likely to be killed by their abusive male partners. Like I said, look up them lesbian statistics, girl. <laughs> Please let me know. The reasons why men have it hard. Like all this bitch said, all this chick said was. This is why reasons why men have it hard in society, not why men have it harder than women in society and why women are the cause of it. No, she said, this is why men have it hard in society. And plus she picked out points. She cherry picked like lame ass fucking points that she herself didn't even fucking prove. But she, oh, she might come off worse than the Asian chick now. Like, ooh. I was talking to my two lesbian friends. <laughs> Do y'all see the fuckery here? Feminism, 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 blah, blah, blah. education, educational, and TikTok, and whatever. And then as a tomboy and dresses very masculine, she would hook up with a bunch of girls every week. And straight men would compliment her. They would say she was a player. Some guy even- Yeah, all right, so doesn't that- <laughs> Wait a minute! You just said in an earlier video that men call women who sleep with a lot of people sluts. Which is it? Which is it, bitch? Which is it, bitch? Which is it? See, not, see, okay, so that, that's kind of contradicts what you said before. Even asked her if she had any tips and if she could help him get girls. My second friend was also hooking up with a bunch of girls. And someone actually told her that because she was hooking up with girls, that people were not calling her a slut. But if she was hooking up with a bunch of guys, then she's a slut. So a girl is a slut only when she's hooking up with a guy. I thought you would be fine with that since you <laughs> wouldn't, you, wouldn't you be fine with that? Like, oh, you associate with males with dick. You let a dick be inside you. Gross. So are you going to get mad at, at the dick messenger, but not, not <laughs> you get mad at the, um, oh my God. Don't get mad at the dick at the messenger. <laughs> He's just the messenger. He's the dick messenger. What you getting mad at him for? She's the one who's letting that filthy cock inside her. Like the way you talk shit about men is like you think you'd be all on board with this. It's like yeah, their their sexuality is pure because it's just women and women, right? Like they're oh they're so fucking confused and all over the place. It's so funny. So if a woman has sex with another woman, she is respected. But the minute the recipient of sex is a man, then she's a hoe. Yeah, it's almost like it's uh, it's another discrimination against men. <laughs> because lesbians actually do this to buy women. Uh, or by like a lot of people in the LGBT do this to buy women. It's like when they're with women, it's all good. But as soon as they said they got some dick in them, there's like no, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I've seen it fucking happen. I've seen it happen. Buy women like get shit on because they get a little dick. I've never seen it the inverse. <laughs> Them getting shit. Oh, you were the woman. Uh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Like you've been you you've been you've been fraternizing with fallopians, can't do it. But I've seen it. Soon, but as soon as they get some dick, suddenly it's a problem. Suddenly being bisexual is a problem for problem for women. I've seen that shit. But you're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> and plus, like men don't do like it's women, fucking women, mostly actually lesbians. Who say that shit? Not all lesbians, but like I said, people in the LGBT don't accept bi women for that very fucking reason because they let dicks inside them. 
It's a disc it's discrimination against men. Men, sweetie, men. <laughs> Are you following the fuckery here? No. <laughs> you aren't either, actually. I was talking to my two. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I already know where this is going. This nigga. <laughs> Oh, uh, like they think they did something by acknowledging I believe in equal rights. Uh, feminism. Okay. Men in my comments call me a feminist as an insult. No, they call you a male feminist as an insult, and there's a reason for that. <laughs> I know everything I need to know about you. Oh, me glad they understood I'm a feminist. Okay. They're saying you're a simp. You jackass. Like, there's no difference between this guy and Chad McFuckface from, from earlier. There's absolutely no difference between either of them. They're both fucking pathetic as shit. So they say that you live and you love. Women earn more than 60% of all college degrees in the United States. Like, yeah. Two of the highest IQ scores belonging to women. Okay. But I'm sure you'll try to make this uh, a complaint in a minute. <laughs> Japan around uh, has men closer. Yeah, okay, this is done. <laughs> Lame. Give me women bitching. <laughs> That's all y'all do on this app. My older brother who says the N word. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> uh, and that's. And that's on being a bitch for not laughing at their, say, res, their sexist, racist, homophobic jokes. For your page, LGBT, uh, feminism, pro choice, Black Lives Matter. Ah. <laughs> My brother who makes sexist jokes. My Trump supporting father. Jesus Christ. I am very uncomfortable with the energy that we've created in the studio today. I'm also uncomfortable with the people I live with because of their political leanings or the off color jokes they make. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here, Karen. <laughs> A random older person. Approaching me in public. Oh, wow, you're so cute. You were born in the wrong era. Is this the same bitch as before? Like, you can't just take the fucking compliment and shut the fuck up. <laughs> Honestly. Thanks for calling me cute, though. Okay, boomer. Someone gives you a compliment. You say, okay, boomer. You know, in my, in my experience, people who pur purposely dress up like this are psychos anyway. So, and, pros and very unlikable. I feel like I'm hearing shit. <laughs> Jimmy, you wanna beat, boy? Okay. Me, a literal lesbian. Okay. Boomer. Whatever you say, Boomer. Let's re let's uh let's repeat that. Was that all this was? Jimmy, you wanna beat, boy? So what? You're f they compliment you on how pretty you are. You're like, I'm a lesbian. I don't care. <laughs> Like someone just, oh, you're like an, like a nice little old lady walks up to her and is like, oh, you're so beautiful. I used to wear the same things. It's, you know, it's just, you're just so pretty. You look like someone I used to know. And, and you're like, oh, bitch, I suck clit. <laughs> Don't you know that by looking at me? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I suck clit. Jesus. Why do I have to be so fucking pretty? If I was ugly, you would know I was a lesbian. Is that what you're implying here? Because if that's what you're implying here, that's really fucked up. <laughs> let's move on. What the fuck? I suck, Clint. <laughs> oh. Let's look at the chat right quick. <laughs> that exhausted me. Sizzler sister was like, as opposed to a, her, a literal, literal lesbian, as opposed to a metaphorical lesbian. Uh, UVI uh, 91 was like, what was that video about? I don't know. She's a twat. That's what it was about. <laughs> oh, Sideshow Freak 7, as opposed to a figurative lesbian. Uh, Tiberius Mononoke, the brain power is intense. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Tiberius Minogue was like, she's meant to say a clitoral lesbian. <laughs> oh, that's clever. I should have said this shit. Damn it. Mark Alcatraz, she has the word pinup as a tag. Yeah. Yeah, TikTok has a harder hate boner for men like Tumblr. Even saw a gay man saying he hates men. It's so exhausting. Yeah, it's just a thing to be cool. To say you hate like straight white men or any of those three categories. Half the time they don't even fucking mean it. They're just doing it because they're fucking uh, vapid or they're just vapid going along with trends. Or maybe they really are that much of a bigot. Who knows? Alicia Hernandez, notice me, please. Are you talking about that chick, or <laughs> you were, or are you talking about yourself? Well, I, I noticed you, so if you were talking about you, then yeah, it's done. Billy Bob Fagnito has arisen. Browsing the webs, bitch. I order a fish course. <laughs> Uh, Benton re- Benton reviews. She looks like her brain's melting at the mere thought of looking straight. <laughs> well, bitch, you like to dress like that. What the fuck do you expect? <laughs> you dress like a fucking nineteen fifties housewife, so you look kind of straightish. It's like fucking. Don't dress like that if you want. Don't want to be perceived as that. You asshole. It's like dressing up in a fucking doll costume. Thinking, look, I'm not a mascot or a cosplayer or a furry. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Stormbase review says TikTok was a mistake. Agreed. JJ Rohan, they only say they hate all straight white men because they think it's cool and they need to save face. Yeah, basically. John the uh, MLM as a part of the LGBT community. Sorry. Oh. I actually I feel more sorry for y'all that y'all have to put up with this shit. People infiltrating your <laughs> infiltrating your ranks with this garbage. Robert drowning. Nah, I'm a 1950s housewife lesbian. Like people are supposed to know that. Exactly. Like, people are supposed to know that shit just by looking at her. Like, get get real. <laughs> people should ask me about my personality and my goals upon meeting me. Well now. If when people see your TikTok, don't worry about it. No one's gonna, even gonna even gonna not acknowledge your existence. So why I wasn't born in the wrong era? Era? Uh, I already know where this is going. It may be well intended, but it's my responsibility to inform others why this phrase isn't exactly a compliment. But see, here's the thing: though. you dress like you fucking own slaves. <laughs> you dress like you fucking not like you own slaves. Like slavery was abolished by 1950. But you still own slaves because you're a psychopath. <laughs> because that's how you could look at this face. You look like you own slaves, own slaves despite the Emancipation Proclamation. <laughs> you look like you still own them, bitch. It looks like you harbor black men in your basement. <laughs> anyway, play. Past heirs had more uh, oppression of people of color. LGBTQ people, then why the fuck do you dress like that then? You dressing up in an oppression uniform. Say, yes, I dress like a Nazi. Yeah, yes, I dress like a similar to a Nazi, but in those days, people were oppressed back then, so people, please don't say I dress like a Nazi. (laughs) Women, get you dressed like a woman who's been oppressed. Other marginalized? Other marginalized. I love how <laughs> other marginalized groups. Lovely. That's not a world I want to live in. I just want to pretend to dress like I live in that. I just want to dress like I live in that world. Despite all that oppression and shit. Like, oh, shut up. <laughs> it's awful. If y'all were just like, it, you motherfuckers were just authentic. <laughs> no one would fuck, like, no one would make fun of you. authentic. <laughs> Republicans don't ban my military grade assault weapons. Oh God. <clears throat> Double standards much? Liberal feminist feminism, Trump 2020. Why would you put this? Why would you want people to think you're voting for Trump? Like don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. 
open for delivery, keeping busy, at home, life at home quiz, programmer, particular, well, whatever. <laughs> Republicans would ban same sex marriage. Same sex marriage isn't banned anymore. What the fuck you whining about? <laughs> Republicans don't miss with my rights. I, oh my God, this reminds me of a joke from uh, uh, from Popstar, that movie uh, where Andy Samberg is a musician. And he, he made, the, he wrote this song about uh, gay rights. And then like they, they cut away to one of the Beatles, one of the guys from the Beatles saying, <clears throat> I don't even know why he made that song. Gay rights, you know, it, it's a thing. Like like he, gay marriage is a thing now. It's, it's, it's legal. <laughs> So why are you making this? It's the same shit here. Why are you complaining about this shit? They can get married now. <laughs> so for this video, we're going to show outfits and I'll use pictures of myself so I don't use anyone else's pictures that they don't want being shown. Oh, you sound like you're about to cry. Oh, that gets on my nerves. Tr trigger warning. No does not mean yes. No means no. Uh, but here in this picture, it's showing a woman's skirt level and what it's labeled as. This is a picture of me in a bathing suit. It was, we were in Florida, it was hot, it was warm. No one's calling you a warm if you're in a fucking bathing suit at a beach. <laughs> Unless you're wearing one of those fucking string bikinis that are halfway up your ass, you might get some catty comments from other women. So I was in a bathing suit. Being in a bathing suit does not determine my consent or anything like that. And then in People know this already. Ooh, catch up. You're obsessed with Okay, what's this? Tiny Republican big racist. <laughs> Misogyny coming from these types of vids is disgusting. It's all over sexualizing the human body. If a girl posts a picture wearing something revealing it's not an invitation or indication of sexual openness, stop assuming all girls who post bikini pics are dancing want attention. You are the one choosing to sexualize and victify her. Stop thinking like a racist. Maybe just stop thinking like a racist. A rapist. A what? <laughs> Look, if I bounce around, bounce my tits around in a video, in a bathing suit, knowing that I am bouncing my tits around in a bathing suit, that's not sexual at all. It's not inappropriate at all. You're just acting like a rapist when you think that's hot. <laughs> You're acting like a fucking rape. Oh my God, the douchebag's back. The douche, douche McFuckface is back. Okay, are you, I gotta watch this shit this first. By Charlie, stop talking about my body. It's not uh -huh. your place to tell me if I'm losing or gaining weight. How is this a thing that we have to talk about? So I <laughs> He's so phony. He is such a phony. He's so fake. Why are people body shaming a 16 year old? Why? And I bet you it's mostly fucking girls going after this girl. After this girl, I, I've I've heard about this little drama. It's this like this sixteen year old girl who's on uh, who's on TikTok. She's got millions of fucking followers and shit. And there are people like who bully her. Like she's got millions of followers. So you're gonna get bullied bullied at some point. No, you cannot have millions of fucking followers and every single last one of them fucking like you. <laughs> it's not that doesn't that's not how that works. <clears throat> But you know damn well, because I saw some like the, some of the um, insults that she got. They sound like they came straight from other girls. Why do we need to keep saying this? Like, just toughen her up. If she can't handle this shit, if she complains every single time she gets a fucking negative comment. She shouldn't be on the internet. So many freaking body shaming comments on so many posts. Body shaming so comments. Many young women. There's some people who like call her fat and shit. And I'm like, that is definitely a girl telling her, telling her that a guy is not going around a 16 year old girl's fucking TikTok saying, Oh God, you're so fucking fat. Like, <laughs> come on, come on. It's probably, Cause I've seen this girl. She ain't fat. She's nowhere near fat. No dude is going to, Oh, she's not fat at all. Skinny as hell, like a skinny sixteen-year-old girl. No guys going around going. Oh no, you're fat. You're you're fat. Is that like some chick shit to me? Been on this app. First of all, all of those women are perfect exactly the way they are. <laughs> Second of all, 
let's let's focus again on, on Charlie for a second. Charlie, when she blew up, was 15 years old. You realize she literally could not drive a car by herself, right? And you are sexualizing. What's up with his voice? He sounds like he's chewing brisket. Like, fucking swallow. <laughs> and criticizing her body. A child. Literally a child. Literally a child. Not figuratively a child. Like, literally a child. Literally. Literally a child. <laughs> and this is not, like, 16-year-old boys, like, saying this stuff in her comments. It's, like, old, creepy-ass men. Men are not calling her fucking fat in the comment section. You would damn lie. I've, like, I've seen some of the comments directed at her. They definitely came from fucking women. This is not a problem with women. This is a problem. Because if a creepy dude is going to do anything with this girl, they're going to be quietly, discreetly jacking off to her fucking TikToks in the background. And then, you know, of course, you'll get a few comments um, simp of them simping for her. Or making like lewd comments and shit, but like yeah, they're not they're not calling they're not the ones calling her fat dude. <laughs> With you, stop. Please stop. stop. Look, at, look at his face. He doesn't give a single shit <laughs> about that, this. Point. He doesn't give a single fucking shit about any of this shit. Trying to get ass. That's all he's what? trying to do. Oh my god, it's fine if you want. Oh wait, wait. Duet and own the curve feminist whatever. It's fine if you want to wait until marriage. It's also fine if you don't. Don't call virginity special because okay, so it's uh, it's not fine then. What if why the fuck you in people's business telling them what they can call their own fucking virginity? Shut the fuck up. Because it's a social construct and no one's worth should be tied to their decision to have sex. But if you get piped every week by different dudes, like yeah. Uh, yeah, not, it's not about your worth as a human being. It's your worth in a fucking relationship or in a sexual relationship with some, somebody else. No one says, like, their worth is a fucking human. You, you, you being melodramatic. Don't say your virginity is special because it's fucking not you fucking virgin. <laughs> we were both virgins when we got married. Everyone told us that we should try each other out just to be sure. But we decided not to. We got made fun of a lot on this journey, especially in high school, but it was so worth the wait. If you're still a virgin, never be ashamed. What you possess is special. Okay, what's wrong with anything they fucking just said? <laughs> what's wrong with anything? They're not shaming anybody. <laughs> They're just tell, talking about their experience. What the fuck? We were both virgins when we got- And look at how he's just sitting there with his fucking, his douchey ass chain in his mouth. Not even barely paying attention to the fucking video. He doesn't give a single shit. I I, I almost respect the hustle. Because he doesn't give a single fuck. <laughs> He's trying to get laid. That's about it. He's trying to get approval from women and that's about it. Like I said, I almost respect it. If he wasn't such a fucking simp, I would almost respect it. But what the there's nothing wrong with what they're what the hell they're saying. That's what I'm saying. That's how you know. These pe these kids are just fucking threatened by anything that that hasn't been indoctrinated into their fucking minds. They just fucking threat someone minding their own goddamn business on TikTok, just like them, talking their little shit. But then it's like, oh, you're a fucking danger to my my mental health. What the fuck? You want to save yourself till marriage? Did you think about how that would affect me? <laughs> Green screen, put respect on my name, career mode, feminist, whatever. People always ask me. Why didn't I change my last name to my husband's when I got married? I'll tell you why. Oh, uh, here we go. I'm waiting for the worst fucking thing. Nitpick $5 super chat. Is he trying to sound like Adam Driver to make the TLJ girl squee? Probably. You never know. When, when, um... I wouldn't get it past. I wouldn't put it past him, the fucking evil genius, <laughs> because he didn't. Because he didn't graduate with honors from college, go to grad school with. The, so you're just basically roasting your own fucking boyfriend for no re your your husband for no reason. Because he's a big fucking dumbass. Why would I take his fucking name? Why would I take the name of this loser? <laughs> Like, do they not understand how they're just 
awful? <laughs> I got an academic journal published. Why the fuck would I take some fuck boy's last name? You know, the, the fuck boy that I picked to be with. The guy I'm so beneath that I picked to be with. I'm not taking his punk ass last name. Because it, it, she may, she might have had some other intentions for this, but it just comes, she's just coming off like a cunt, like she doesn't even respect her own fucking husband. I didn't take his last name because he's a fucking bitch. <laughs> Call me when you have a fucking college degree, you just faggot. Just a reminder. <laughs> what the fuck? Awful. Just so awful. Pro-choice. FYP. I guess that means for your page or whatever. Uh, which is the most arrogant fucking tag. Like, put this on, this is for your page. For you to feature on your page, because what I'm saying is so fucking important. It's so real. <laughs> if it's for your page. ...that a pro-life page made a video about me, like, days ago. And I saw it, and I chose not to respond, because, like, well... It, until now. <laughs> I don't care. I've heard all the arguments. I don't care. That's why I'm making the video talking about it, because I don't care. That's that's what trips me out. Because that's what this generation is all about. I don't care, even though I care about literally everything. <laughs> don't know about anything, but I care about it all. Like <laughs> I literally don't care. That's why I'm making a TikTok about it. I used to be pro-life. I used to be pro-life. I've heard the arguments. I know, and I've decided on what side I want to be on, babe. But anyways, they made a video about me days ago. About this account. This is my second account, not my main. They made a video talking about me. About a video I posted. And why do all these motherfuckers have, like, the same... Have different... Variations of the same goddamn uh, avatar? Or profile pic? It's either a fucking fist, a fist uh, grasping... Uh, a peace sign or some shit. It's just the same lame, the same cookie cutter, basic ass shit. They're totally indistingu indistinguishable from each other and they don't even know it. It's hilarious. Sit here. So tell me why I went live today on my main. They went out of their way to go look on my page, see that I was live, join it, and then harass me on there saying, we made a video about you. We made a video about you. Yeah, that's not harassment. <laughs> now keep in mind she said she does not care <laughs> no this is over she's just like uh her breast milk is sour so <laughs> that's about it um, she's got the sour i think i might avoid this bitch because she she's she makes me like irritable like legitimately angry i don't like her I don't like this bitch. So chicken polish, chicken and like you got the nerve to be a cunt on top of, on top of looking like every white feminist stereotype on, on top of looking like every fucking Karen in training. Really? <laughs> really? At all the 12 year olds who followed me because of this video for you. Chips. Me, a child in seventh grade at a public swimming pool in one piece. So. On how disgusting men can be towards children. And instead it was taken as a joke on how big my boobs were, which further proves my point. Big juicy um. succulent breast. However, so chicken polish, chicken as and a chips, comment review. on how disgusting men can be towards children. And instead it was taken as a joke on how big my boobs were, which... Well, then don't make a fucking TikTok on a serious issue, because then some people will think you're full of shit or joking around. Oh my god, did you really think TikTok is supposed to be taken seriously, you idiot? <laughs> <laughs> Me and my feminist guinea pig. Oh, <laughs> He's looking out the window because he wants the fuck out. I can't believe, bitch, I can't believe you named me your feminist guinea pig. <laughs> feminist guinea pig. Actually, that, that kind of works, to be honest. <laughs> Feminist guinea pig after kidnapping the pro life protesters outside of Planned Parenthood. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's just sad. That's her only friend, is that guinea pig. <laughs> 
POV, when men have failed to run our country, I run for president. So far, the polls are in my direction. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day. Uh, I'm just pausing right quick not to get copyright strike. It's a new life for me. Yeah, that's about it. Like, um, I think that's it. I don't think there's any end to that shit. <gasps> I oh, God. We got one talking about birds of prey, y'all. Let's do it. Men, birds of prey was bad because it didn't appeal to the straight white men, which no, no one ever fucking says that. The fact that you have to tailor it that way already ruins your argument. <sighs> no one ever fucking says that. It, it was bad because it had terrible writing. The fucking pacing was disjointed and, and the fucking, some of the editing wasn't good either. I think I touched on this on Twitter. Um, what, what the fuck else? Oh yeah, Harley's narration was garbage. It didn't add to anything. And it was, at times it was actually fucking redundant. Of course the costumes, terrible. Like they weren't good. <clears throat> you don't need, of course you don't need to be sexualized to have good costumes, but that's not the case here. They were desexualized costumes that were fucking terrible. <laughs> Just saying. I can't wait for uh, James Gunn's Suicide Squad to come out. I can't wait. Because at least I know that'll be halfway decent. I'm not fucking, I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. Because he's not, he's a good filmmaker. So whatever. Anyway, let's get back to this. Fucking destroy your bloodline. You fucking bitch. Oh God. Me, maybe it wasn't made for you. No. No. I don't know. That's not how that works. You can't say that about fucking superhero movies because they're they are they are specifically made to appeal to everybody. The only reason they fucking made it is because Har Harley Quinn was going to be in it, and people liked Harley Quinn, and they like Margot Robbie. They wanted to make money. The fact that you actually think it's made for you is fucking hilarious. It's made to it was supposed to be made to appeal to general audiences like everybody. Or is it like, no, wait, isn't it rated R? But well, whatever. They were trying to, yeah, you know what? Fuck. They were trying to crib off that Deadpool shit while trying to make a comic book movie that could be tailor made to everybody, which d didn't work, as you can see. It was garbage. Uh, Graft Zero, $5 Super Chat. Take the woke out of, the, out, of, out of a trash fire like Batwoman or B Birds of Prey, and you still have a trash fire. Correct. And thank you for the. Uh, the super because Batwoman doesn't really have that much woke shit going on in it. I mean, when they go into the woke shit, it's fucking terrible, <laughs> as everything else is. But it doesn't need that woke shit to be terrible. It's just terrible on its own. But it's kind of like you can't really say that because the LGBT issues and everything, and the weird dynamic between, um. Kate and Luke that's always like leering over everything so it may, it may not be in every episode but it's always kind of like lurking around and ruining everything but whatever let's get back to this it wasn't made for you the movie wasn't made for you like bitch it wasn't made for you either it was made to make money <laughs> you think they were actually like oh this is made for us so us women can shine get the fuck out of here I will fucking- It's not made for you, it's made for the women's. Bitch, please. <clears throat> that movie was trash. Coming from a woman who has seen it, it's garbage. It's not a good movie. I remember YMS, he reviewed it and said this movie was clearly meant for like 12 year old girls. Zing! <laughs> so any like grown ass woman who likes it, Maybe it was meant for you. I don't know. <laughs> you know, the chicks who make these arguments, <clears throat> hey, shit, maybe it was made, meant for you. Because <laughs> it comes off like it was meant for a tw someone with a 12-year-old's mentality. Uh, how come women are ashamed for being sexually active, but men are praised? Is this the same motherfucker? This is that douche bro bastard. <laughs> that douche bro bastard, the Calvin Brandle. And he's looking out... He's, oh my God, he's thoughtfully looking out onto the sunset on top of a fucking car. 
Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it's from the Star Wars soundtrack! This can't this can't be real. This has gotta be parody. Like he's parodying uh fuckboy male feminists. He's gotta be. This can't be real. You can't be this transparently shitty. <laughs> You can't be this transparently garbage. Hold on, there are comments. Oh wait, I can't click on them. Fuck, I wish I could, damn it. Just to see what people actually think of this shit. Wow. <laughs> How come women are ashamed for being sexually active, but men are praised? And then the Star Wars soundtrack crescendos in the background. <laughs> Whoo, those two moons in the distance, they're tiggle biddies. <laughs> Oh, Christ, this is so fucking whack. <laughs> That's trash. Oh, hang on one second, guys. Oh. Um, hang on one minute. I just gotta do something right quick. I'll see something right quick. Uh, okay, never mind. I'm just checking some shit. Oh my god, the fuck? Oh. Uh, just making sure the stream isn't fucked up. I'm just so paranoid about this. Oh, uh, I think I missed something. Uh, I just, did I just miss this? No, no, I didn't, I didn't, fuck it. Shock seven 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 says he has to be a parody. He has to be. I, I don't. I don't buy this shit from it. It's too fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's too retarded. Okay. Well, let's let's do this. Oh, she got a Trump tweet in the background. Let's see how this. Is. <laughs> it's freezing and snowing in New York. We need global warming. <laughs> Some tweets from Trump, you just know he's fucking playing around. You just know he's making, he's making, he's just fucking with people. It's freezing and snowing in New York. We need global warming. <laughs> you can fucking tell it's a joke. It's something that someone would say, oh fuck. If, if global warming is, is real, please come around here. Cause it's, I'm fucking freezing my ass off. It's obvious he was fucking joking on really. Are you seriously freaking out over this shit? Oh, it's Asian bitch. Let's get to this one first. When I am. Oh, in 15 minutes, we're going to have to hang it up or f maybe I'll just extend it until 1230 since I did start the stream at like 840. We'll see. Let's just keep going. Assertive. Queen of trust issues. GD makeup. Uh, I'm a bitch. When a man is assertive, he's a boss. No negative connotation behind bossed up but lots of negative connotation behind being a bitch. Oh God. Cause they're two different fucking things, you retard. April is sexual assault awareness month. Whenever I talk about sexual assault or rape culture- Stop doing your hands like that, please. <laughs> so annoying. Are you bring? are you like directing flight traffic? What the fuck? Tevin Jackson, $2 super chat, thanks for the- Thanks for the introduction to say to say goodnight, Kevin. Oh, you're welcome. He deserves it. His videos are, are really good. In fact, I would advise you all to if you haven't subscribed to him, subscribe to him. His his content's a little sporadic and everything, but when he finally comes out with a video, it is worth it. So if you want to subscribe, subscribe, do it. Culture or how women are more likely to be sexually assaulted. The response that I get from some people is, men get raped too. Yes, of course men can be victims of sexual assault. It's interesting to see that whenever I talk about women being sexually assaulted, the first reaction is to get defensive and say that men are also victims. But the only time they talk about men being sexually assaulted is when they want to minimize a woman being assaulted. By yeah, so talking about one gender 
being sexually assaulted over the other is minimizing it. So them correcting you and saying men are also sexually assaulted is completely warranted because, you know, just going by your logic, if it's minimizing, then yeah, what's the problem? It's a minimi- So you're minim- So you, you are complicit in minimizing the sexual assault of men, right? Right. Well, that's right. You're not going to hold yourself to that same standard because you're a woman. <laughs> Inserting the fact that men also get assaulted. And then they never speak up for male victims ever again. How the fuck would you know that? Do you even... Do you speak up for male victims? Have you ever fucking known a male victim? You know, like you just said, you fucking shut down people like that mentioning male sexual assault is fucking minimizing females. So don't tell me you fucking stick up for men when they t- say they're being, they're being sexually assaulted or they want to bring up the topic because you just said it's minimizing. So shut, you know, fuck it. Bye. <laughs> You're pissing me off. <laughs> She's such a twat. Oh, married to the money. Mm. So I'm a social worker. I work in child protective services. Um, so I wear these business casual outfits when I'm going out on cases. Uh, that shirt. <laughs> I wear these. Bi- this is not business casual. This is just sloppy. What the fuck? You got these Bob Hope pants on. This thrift store. This. Th- <laughs> this th- thrift store fucking shirt. What? This is not business casual. This is the sloppiest shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. But I also wear these Walmart tennis shoes in case I need to run away if someone's chasing me or trying to kill me. Yeah, okay. What the fuck was that all about? (laughs) That was nothing. (laughs) Settle down. Are you kidding? Okay. You thought! You thought! Goddess, queen, angel. Jesus Christ. Only the worst chicks have handles like this. God, you're a goddess and a queen. God, tell me how you really feel about yourself. No, literally, tell me how you really feel about yourself because I know you, you you're insecure as shit. Would you would want to date a misogynist? <laughs> Twenty men that's ever been said that's ever said when she's cute, but you find out she's a feminist. Yeah. Because feminists are fucking trash nowadays. Like the whole f- fucking movement's been tainted by chicks like this. That random guy found all the super chat. I hope you are safe and doing well. What kind of guys do you find attractive? Oh God, you put me on the spot <laughs> right now. Um, it depends. I can't even like. I can't even fucking put it into a into words like if i if i feel you i feel you and that's about it i can't even i can't say it right now i'm so focused on this shit anyway let's get off that it's an uncomfortable topic i'm at the top of my game i'm right up there with the big dogs girl come on leave the saving the world for the men i don't think so i love how they just put movie quotes over like really terrible music and think that's somehow innovative Ugh, it's so it, it's grating you thought we wanted your sorry misogynistic ass <laughs> oh god oh god oh god oh god officer please can't you do something i was raped what the she's such a moron she meant to like edit out raped but she didn't <laughs> she just kind of put it she put a fucking asterisk between the r and the a uh, why? Um, Tevin Jackson, five dollars super chat. Ironheart is getting a live action Disney Plus series. Don't forget to hop on that. Ironheart. Oh, that bitch. Oh, <laughs> the black female Iron Iron Man. Okay, yeah, I might check that out. <laughs> oh God, y'all want me to die from cringe? <laughs> y'all trying to get rid of my ass? Thought I'd shed some light on all the unbelieved victims of this because of what they were wearing or like a proof. I love how you think you think you can fucking advocate for people on fucking TikTok. I want to advocate for all the rape victims in the world with a song by Pitbull and T Pain. <laughs> that random guy five dollar super chat. Are you single and interested in a tall nerdy guy? Stop trying to hook up with me on fucking YouTube. Stop. 
Don't put me on the spot like this. I mean, tall guys, of course. Who doesn't like a tall guy? And nerdy, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that too. But let's get, can we just get back to this shit? <laughs> Don't distract me with your, with your, your, your flirtations. Well, what were you wearing? That's not the first fucking thing they asked you. And if they ask you that, it's probably because they, like, in case your clothes were ripped off, they want to be able to, you know, find them so they can identify them. But no one fucking asked, oh, what were you wearing? Are you a slut? Because that will determine, determine whether or not I actually give a shit about your life as a human. <laughs> that doesn't fucking happen! You're so full of shit! If your dog- If you're worried about damaging your dog's neck, try this for walking. Why is this- Seems like some dog shit. Why is this tagged feminism? Pulling, try using Fe or feminist. Advantage, like this. Now practice. Repetition is the key to success when training your dog. If your dog is pulling- Oh yeah, this- This is what- This is why you shouldn't tag your shit randomly like that I oh she has a voice great <laughs> reply to user 0800 37 130 you're so right it's so annoying oh my god almost also i don't know why i look green dishwashers need to stop complaining about everything i completely agree with you stop complaining but no stop complaining about everything i'm serious stop it yeah hilarious <laughs> I'm just speaking facts, feminists, for you, viral, blah, 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 blah. Um, oh my god. Uh, cold Fusion Waffles, $5 Super Chat, Feman, the female Iron Man. Feman. Um, the random guy, $5 Super Chat. Okay, I'm done, promise. You just make me smile and laugh, and that's important. Also, screw feminism. <laughs> There you go. Now we're back on track. And thank you, uh, thank you, that random guy, for that super chat. It's much appreciated. Asked a girl if she's ever been harassed, and she said, not really, just normal stuff, catcalling, following, groping. Oh, God. That's how normalized rape culture is. When girls think this is a normal part of growing up because it's not a big deal. Ladies and gentlemen, the volume inside of this bus is Um, anyway, um, if this is her own tweet, I hope this isn't, isn't her own tweet, because that's just douchey. Yeah, I'm just saving that, uh, I'm saving her face. That was fucking, that, that, that's fucking hilarious. Hang on, just took a little screen cap and saving it up. There we go. I don't buy for a minute that she doesn't think that being followed and groped is harassment. Or you talk to, you talk to a teenage girl who probably has been groped by a boy in jest and doesn't think it's harassment. Because she's just she just fucking knows they're just playing they're just fucking around. Or some shit like that. But I refuse to believe that you talk to a fucking chick and she's like, nah, I don't know what rape is. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what things are. Get the fuck out of here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So you guys walk a mile in her shoes. Feminist, feminism, Mr. So is she following this dude around? Is this a dude she's following? Oh God. You guys are probably wondering what my husband and I are doing oh. out taking a walk in heels. So there's oh, an event God. called Walk a Mile in Her Shoes. And typically it's an event for men to show their support and solidarity for survivors of sexual assault and gender-based violence. And this year, sadly, we had to um, postpone it, obviously because of COVID-19 and everything that's going on with that. So we thought that we would just do what we can and show our support through social media. So women, you can participate too, but men, this is a challenge for you. If you want to participate, take a video of yourself in heels and use hashtag walk a mile. Woo, doesn't he look great? <laughs> Why does, 
uh, something that has to be in solidarity with women have to be fucking emasculating as shit? You want men to build shit? Maybe, like, go out there and... I don't know, build a, a woman's recovery hospital or some shit? Like, like a sexual assault recovery hospital? No, just wear fucking heels, you faggot. <laughs> I don't know, it always just seems so backhanded and insidious. Like, yeah, wear heels. We want to see you wear heels. Wear them. Guys, it's your turn to take this challenge. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> oh, shit. This is so funny. <laughs> what if I would- She looks insane. I'm telling you, I'm not letting that go. She looks like she murders people. I did it. I found my new favorite sound. I was a 1950s housewife and you were a makeup saleswoman and you came to the door. My husband was away, so you came- Oh, Christ. Now, keep in mind, she said that era of the world is- The era of, like, America is just so racist and toxic, but she's more than willing to emulate that in her clothes, in her, her wardrobe. Yeah. Bread Ranger, $2 super chat. She could have at least made sure that his outfit matched. <laughs> Zach Pulido, freaking simp. What a doofus. <laughs> Came upstairs to show me some makeup. And after that, whenever my husband's out of town, you come over. And the entire town just thinks we're really close gal pals, but in actuality, we're falling in love with each other. <laughs> just kidding. Unless. <laughs> oh, Christ. Some fucking fan fiction shit. Ugh. Because it's disrespectful to you. It is. That's not even fucking feminist. It's, it's more just lesbian shit. Legit comments I get harness or sacred cycles. It's disrespectful to for you. one woman. Red. To you, it is disrespectful. To you, it is. First of all, it's disrespectful in general. To you, because it's disrespectful. People tripping because my paintings portray menstruation. Uh, yeah. Some people think it's fucking gross, bruh. Let it go. She's not as bad as those people who actually painted with their period blood, though. But still, like, people don't find it. Nice looking, then let it go. That random guy fight out of the super chat. Do you that most feminists are fat, unhappy, and have to push their unhappiness on others? I don't believe they're all fat, just some of them. <laughs> but I think a lot, yeah, a lot of them are fucking unhappy as shit because, like I said earlier, they try to live up to fake male standards the standards that male male men don't even fucking like as a and it's a gender as a whole don't even have they try to live up to um they try so hard not to fit into gender roles and shit like that and because they try so hard they're they're yeah they're fucking miserable <laughs> as shit i mean if this if this, fu if this fucking tiktok thread or, or this tiktok um tag has anything to say about it yeah yep it ain't easy it ain't that easy sissy teenage trump supporters that don't even pay for their own gas money after saying homeless people in poverty just need to get go get a job i uh, isn't this kind of like the pot calling kettle if you also are a teenager i'm fucking rich you're fucking poor. Look at me, I'm just like you, but I'm rich. <laughs> it's fun. I'm classist. Like, I'm. L oh, wait, no, wait, no, wait. She's emulating that classist shit. Okay. And you but still, it's like you're also a fucking teenager. You also don't pay for shit. You're fucking poor. <laughs> yup. Am I to believe that you paid for that, all the clothes in that, in that fucking closet yourself? When I say. Oh, well, oh, God. You are the only exception, blah, 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 feminism, activism. When I say ACAB, which means is an acronym for all cops are bad. She tried to fucking censor it, but I don't know why the fuck. Could people still know what the hell you're talking about, you moron? That excludes. He was a mall cop. He's not a cop. <laughs> and plus, oh, uh, girl, you simping for white dick. Coon. <laughs> I'm just simply for that white dick. 
um must be new feminist girl power the drop a butter gloss pop about, uh, i don't even know if the guy i like is a feminist so why am i crying over him um then someone said to me why does it matter if he's a feminist you must be new here sir <laughs> I made a joke about, uh, I don't even know if the guy I like is a feminist, so why am I crying over him? Uh, and then someone said to me, why does it matter if he's a feminist? You must be new here, sir. <laughs>"...he's gotta be a feminist." Well, since only like a small fraction of the country considers themselves feminist, you ain't, you gonna be cold. Your pussy is gonna be cold for a long fucking time, girl. <laughs> or you're gonna be fucking a lot of duds, a lot of dudes who like to pretend they're feminists. <laughs> Good luck with that. Anytime someone says gender inequality does not exist, answer this. Sixty million girls around the world are denied education, and I'll bet none of them are in this country. <laughs> Four out of five victims of human trafficking are girls. All right. Oh, really? The wage gap? I wonder whose big ass fucking house she's dancing in front of. I bet you sh it's not a house that she's paying the bills for. <laughs> oh, God. So, two nights before my college graduation, some. Because we're sympathetic does not mean we're interested. Just, no, wait, just because we're sympathetic does not mean we're interested. What I thought was my friend asked to come talk to me in my room around midnight, and he came in my room crying with scratches on his wrist, saying he thought about slitting his wrist and killing himself. So I asked him what was wrong and what triggered him, and if he'd like to talk about it to make him feel better, you know, like a good friend should do. And unbeknownst to me, he snuck vodka in his canteen and proceeded to get drunker and drunker as we were talking and put his arm around me. Uh, yeah, this just... <laughs> so, yeah, he's de clearly depressed and some people, when they're depressed, they get drunk. They drink. <laughs> What's the problem? Because <laughs> you, you sound real cunty right now. You sound like, you sound like you deserve a slap. <laughs> And then when he started crying at some point and I gave him a hug, he decided it was a good idea to kiss my neck. When I told him to stop and physically pushed him off me, he asked me, is it because I'm not sober? And I said, no, it's because I told you to stop. That being said, if you ever use mental health to manipulate a girl's feelings towards you, fuck. Uh, I, <laughs> you fucking asshole. You really think, oh, I had scratches on my wrist. I was clearly depressed and I was drinking and got drunk. And it could, you know. He probably thought, oh, she's comforting me. Got really fucking, he just got a little too hinky. He got a little too familiar. But how is that fucking proof that he used his mental illness just to push up on you because you're just so hot? <laughs> how did you, how the fuck do you even know that? You think he faked those fucking scratches just to get, to push up on you? You're an asshole. <laughs> you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> you're honestly an asshole. Honestly, yeah, you're a fucking it's straight up asshole. Sentient uh, D1LDO, white women. <laughs> Shelby MD, $2 super chat. It's knockoff shoe on head. <laughs> Star Knight, I feel like she's not a good person to be around. No, she, no. She's a twat. Are you serious? You think that he came in there crying and shit and got drunk and made up all this shit? I'm back. Uh, oh, Zen Waters, 199 Super Chat. Your suicide attempt was about me. <laughs> yeah, sh ooh. I thought like the white girl and the Asian chick were the worst ones. This chick in one, with one TikTok was, I was like, fuck you. <laughs> Semantic dragon, or he's actually got mental health issues and you not being a mental health care provider shouldn't have engaged with him with physical reassurance, dumb, dumb lady. <laughs> 
silent Nuno. Why didn't she intervene when he was drinking? Right. A uh, friend is a depressed self harmer. Clearly, this is about me. <laughs> wow. Like, yeah, she is fucking awful. I'm putting her on blast right here, like on this stream. Fuck this chick. If any of y'all like young people on here and you're on Twitter, oh fuck. I think my stream is dying. Cause it's in the red. I'm worried. <laughs> oh wait, there it goes. Never mind. Um, <clears throat> now that we're back. If I went yeah, if I went off online for a second. But if any young people, if y'all got TikTok and y'all see this bitch, don't fucking engage. Get away from her. What a twat. That could be a part of his mental health problems. Like the fact that he just, he finds comfort, like he just misinterprets, uh, like comfort from chicks or he's just extremely lonely or has some kind of like, you know what I'm saying? But she put him on blast. Like he's some kind of fuck, like he's some kind of errant fuck boy. Are you kidding me? She literally said she he was scratches on his arms. Like there was pr proof that he was depressed and fucked in the head. And she happened to make it about her. You cunt. Oh my God. <laughs> that random guy, $2 super chat. Have you, seen, have you ever seen the crazy hot matrix? Nope. Th and thank you for the super chat. Oh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. My boyfriend is depressed and he's suicidal, but oh, he kissed me and it's his fault. Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> well she said it was a friend of hers not her boyfriend but still like she put him on blast here like he's just some he's some kind of asshole you see what i'm saying and this goes back to all the other fuck those other fucking tiktoks but oh oh you know men, uh, men suffer uh, i get that but like whatever <laughs> this is what I'm, this is the type of chick i'm talking about the fact that y'all don't think he, some of y'all don't fucking contribute to this shit <laughs> The some of men's problems is hilarious. Like, yeah, he they get a little handsy, yeah. But just say, like, stop and maybe not make it about you. Maybe just uh consider it him being fucked up. But I bet you know what it is? It's that fucking weird, like the creepy female, like like the feminist fucking mentality where this person got a little handsy, or this this person's problems are about me. Like she's low key bragging that a guy tried to fucking like they got got too a little too handsy with her. It's a low key, it's like a low key uh hum, it's like a humble brag. Like yeah, this guy couldn't keep his fucking hands off me. Oh, cause it's not about you, bitch. Like you, he probably would have done that to anybody, to any chick. Oh, nerd bane, um, Zen Waters one ninety nine super chat. He just wanted some sexual healing. A uh, nerd band five dollars super chat. Those vacuous, self-absorbed uh, coons are enraging. Glad to see a goddess is still a rampant internet disease. Okay, LG is like, imagine he finds this. I don't even want to think about that shit. That's fucking depressing as hell. Like he finds it and he's like, wow. <laughs> well, he wouldn't. He would probably get more depressed and think. Wow, even my fucking friend is giving up on me. Maybe I should cut a little deeper next time. Yeah, thanks, you fucking moron. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? I can't get off this now. I'm, ooh, I'm bothered. That Those other two chicks, the Nordic bitch, the Nordic brown dick hungry bitch, and the Asian chick, I thought they were going to be the worst, but this is the worst. It's not okay. You're making his mental illness about you. Like I say, you could have been anybody to him, possibly. I think he would have pushed up on anybody. And all about he was the one who was fucking drunk. And like I said, if she was the one who was drunk and he pushed up, pushed up on her, it'd be, this, it'd be the same exact fucking complaint. He's taking advantage of me. Dude, like the girl's drunk. He's taking advantage of me. The dude's drunk. He's taking advantage of me. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Fuck this bitch. Oh my God. Never seen someone so fucking, ooh, never have children, especially boys. Jesus Christ. Microaggressions against women. Oh, oh here we go. Ass, baby, here's your chance. Baby, being called bossy and too aggressive while male counterpart is considered a leader. This is such a old Stop shit. Left cheek, right cheek, drop it low, this wine. Text us up and mm. And I love how they do all this shit twerking and all this garbage bouncing around. 
Like, it's hilarious to me because you know a lot of creepers. Like, creepers, it wasn't nothing but like a year ago, creepers and pedos were like scrounging all over, uh, all over TikTok. And they probably still are. Feminist rights. While I'm shaking around in my booty shorts, while men are basically watching you jacking off right now. <laughs> oh God, it's hilarious. It's like this beautiful kind of irony that I just love. Performing my natural God-given duties. A wallet's place is in the kitchen. Oh Jesus Christ! Simp, proud simp, simp nation, simping, feminist and feminism. Oh fuck. It says comedy, but uh, I'm pretty sure this isn't satirical. Hold on. Oh, he's opening jars. Yeah, those little stick arms. Like, yeah. And you know they're all pre-opened. <laughs> he's wearing a fucking Hawaiian shirt with his, his fucking... His 2010... Um, Jonas Brothers hair and the stick arms. Like, yeah, I'm opening up jars. Urgh. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, the simp hype house. Oh, please tell me this is a parody. I want to believe that's a parody, but like, ooh. Okay, so I've used this background before, but it's relevant to this video, so I'm just going to use it again. Level of my skirt does not determine my content. Yeah, you done this already, girl. <laughs> Pull up. Trump has been accused of rape, sexual assault, harassment by 23 women since 1980. No, they just now fucking accusing him. They were just now accusing him. And the women went back, the the number of, like, the, the women, their accusations went back to 1980. As far as back to 1980. You wanted evidence of, of his pred, uh, pred, uh, predation? Uh, women saying shit is not evident, sweetheart. Gangsta. And I love how they say this shit in like crop tops and shit, like talking against predators while also um, entertaining them at the same time. It's Without hilarious. Trump said he could do anything to women, including just start kissing them. And I can't even wait and just grab him by the pussy. Yeah, thanks for misquoting him, you moron. He said... Like, there's some women who are just so pretty and you just want to start kissing them. That doesn't mean he actually fucking did it. And the grab you by the pussy comment, I'm not even going to get into that. Like, come on. Well, I am going to get into it, but I don't want to. But I'm going to do it anyway. That was a hypothetical fucking scenario. Like, he was saying women in his circle are so fucking money hungry. They're just so hungry for billionaire and millionaire dick that you can basically, they'll let you, let you do anything to them. Grab him by the pussy, whatever. That is what the fuck he said. He wasn't talking about fucking rape. These bitches, all these bitches, they got selective hearing. That came from Sri Lanka. Yeah, I'm in, that in 2005, Trump confessed on Howard Stern's show to going to Miss Universe, uh, Un Miss Universe teen dressing rooms while they were undressed for the purpose of seeing them like dress. Hello, Willy Wonka. You could be the king, but watch the or going in there when they were all dressed to congratulate them or like check up on them or whatever. Queen okay. Saying he could get away with things like that because he owned beauty pageants. First things first. Yeah, we're gonna have to check the legitimacy of that. I mean, not now. Because if you lied about the first fucking quote, it's a possibility you lied about the second I'll eat your brain, then I'm a And in our justice system, sexual assault allegations don't need to be corroborated with evidence. Uh, what? Are you celebrating that shit? Because that's not something to celebrate. This is so cringe. Sexual assault should not be corroborated with evidence. Yeah, whatever, bitch. <laughs> Imagine if these chicks lived like a man for like a day. They wouldn't be able to fucking handle it and throw everything that's usually thrown at men, throw it at them for like a day, like a, no, like a week. Have them be uh, accused of sexual assault and go through that grueling process knowing you didn't do it. <laughs> Feminine care, the birds and bees. Oh, Jesus. Let's talk about sex, baby. 
This one is juicy. Like for part, like for part two. Oh, okay. And y'all seem to love my videos with girl talk and I don't find them taboo at all. So today we're gonna talk about sex. I'm gonna give you the sex talk that maybe you wish you had or you just need a refresher. This is all stuff I've picked up from my doctors, my friends, my family. I hope it serves you well. First of all, sex is wonderful. It's also a responsibility. If you don't meet the two conditions, respecting yourself and respecting this other person, don't do it. And respecting yourself and this other person encompasses consent and protection. If you're not ready to have those conversations, if you're not ready to take responsibility, you're not ready to have sex. Don't put yourself in that position. Second, once you start having sex, you should be ideally seeing your gynecologist yearly for a pap smear. Third, and I hate that I have to say this, but you don't owe anybody sex, period. Period. There's no age, there's no timeline, there's no third date rule. Only do what you're comfortable with with someone you're comfortable with, period. Lastly, always pee after sex. Even if it's just a tinkle, clears out bad bacteria and prevents UTIs. Hi again. Nah, that's not bad at all. So I'm out. She didn't, she didn't gender the shit. Some, you know, what she said was actually fucking true. So, eh. why don't you tag that feminist? <laughs> That's so reasonable. Androgynous, please. Oh, God. Roller skating. And this group of bicyclists, they were skating, like, across the road there. And this one guy on the bicycle goes, holy cow, that boy's on roller skates. So I'm out roller skating. And this group of bicyclists, they were skating. Um, Okay. <laughs> Christ, not this bitch again. In 2017, Russia dec decriminalized de domestic violence against women. All right. In Canada, in indigenous women are hugely targeted with violence. Are you celebrating this? Because you, you, like, there's no real explanation in the tags. Are you seriously dancing to this shit? Yeah. Oh, these feminists on TikTok are brain dead. Genocide is fun. <laughs> I'm gonna go right past this shit. Oh god. Okay, before and after every game, football girl power, whatever. When the opposing football teams find my Instagram. Broderick. When the opposing football teams find my Instagram. Oh. Can you explain what you're doing in this photo? That's not me. That's not you? Nope. Teaching your children safety part three. So let's talk about why it's so important to teach your children the correct terms for body part. There's a actually, you know what? Let me skip her. She's not really like that. That heel shit was weird, but she's not that bad. We're in the red again. No, there we go. We're back. We're back. Okay, I think we're back. We're back? Okay. All right, all right, we're back. Okay, YouTube feminists are about to be real mad at me. Types of feminists, fake feminists. Some of you are about to get mad at me, so I just want to say, we're the rats. If any of this offends you, you're a little bitch. <laughs> Intersectional feminists, white feminists, Uh, technically, actually, you're all like this, so. Mm, let's skip that one, because that, they actually post pretty good videos on here. And like you'll get the occasional Jordan Peterson clip and Karen Strahan clip. Oh, uh, KLG, uh, 20 pound super chat. Any plans to address the himbo craze and how it's a huge double standard? I saw a post stating that women cling to this new word because intelligent men make them feel unsafe. What? <laughs> wow, because they know they're dumb. <laughs> 
And if guys can pick up on their little tricks and their little bullshit, of course it makes them feel unsafe. Like, oh, you know I'm like just using feminism for si for simp uh, likes. I feel unsafe. I said something, but I got shat on by a mob for it. <laughs> I feel so unsafe. My boyfriend won't buy me an iPhone. I feel unsafe. You saw right through my bullshit. Oh God. Harnessing the That's power hilarious. of the period part two. Last week i posted harness the power in your period feminism we'll some new information i learned from april davis of the v blog tagged her below women go through their hormone cycles every 28 to 35 days like the moon and men go through their hormone cycles every 24 hours like the sun it explains so much and made me feel so validated let's dive deeper in that same presentation i learned that women can literally harness the power in their period in our entire hormone cycle we have four weeks a winter spring summer and fall during the winter, when you're actually on your period, is your time to rest and reflect. Springtime, the week immediately after your period, is the time to create and renew. The next week is your summer week, and this is a time to express yourself and connect with others. And autumn, the time leading up to your period, is a time to reflect and listen. What I took from this is that I am not going to be starting new projects or trying big, huge things in my winter or fall time. So those are times to learn and go inward, and the times to go outward are your spring and summer time. We can literally harness the power of our periods to rule the freaking world. Harnessing the power of your period. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I think once. Our pro cho choice, Bernie 2020 feminism. I think we need to like clarify before we go any further is that it's it's scientifically it's not a baby right it's a, it's a fetus or an embryo or up until a certain before it's a fetus it's a zygote so i think calling it a baby is kind of uh just an emotional an emotional thing at this point I mean, um, um baby is sci not a scientific term it's for a, a certain Wait, it's, it's, development. It's, 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 development. It, it is, it's not like zygote embryo fetus or newborn baby simply means the very young of a species with no specification towards born or unborn so it's a perfectly accurate term this is a tactic that a lot of pro-lifers like to use to appeal to emotions by calling mm, Zen Waters 199 Super Chat harnessing the power of taking a dump. Calling it a baby. And it's not true. A baby is an infant or a very young child. It's a more casual name for infant. Which you can see here is the name for after post-birth. And when you're talking about stages of development, a baby or an infant is birthed to two years old. This is a point that wasn't pressed enough during the debate. I, I, I think one thing we need to like clarify before... Uh, she's not entirely wrong. <laughs> Next. <laughs> oh my God, is this asshole again? Is this game again? Duet with Republicans only 2020. Little guy like you couldn't handle half the shit minorities deal with every day. How do Republicans still just you just your average liberal feminist snowflake here? Yeah, I'm a little sissy. Yeah, no one's really downing that. Oh, America, that did not feel good. <laughs> <laughs> this is all Trump's fault. <laughs> it's like a fucking joke. Like, it's a corny ass joke. That random guy, $5 super chat. Notice how all these feminists use the Bernie hashtag while Bernie is a male. <laughs> oh. Is he fucking like flexing Bernie, right now? That did not feel good. <laughs> Ali, <laughs> Like really, nigga, you built like Edward Cullen. <laughs> like I said before, that dude has to be a parody. He can't be real. He can't be for real. Oh god. Anyway, why are you even still a feminist? All pictures are from the feminist Instagram. Yeah. Women have the same rights as we do. They're equal. You're not being discriminated again? Okay, I get to the point. Remember. Okay. Your fucking point? We're not all equal until everyone is set free. <laughs> I love how you're cribbing off other people's shit. Look at here. <laughs> this is so corny. What the fuck? Like when uh this is another oh I paint oh okay she translates it. Um I'll paint my arms my arm hair. Sometimes we judge ourselves a lot. 
based on on others opinions my body my choice no one cares <laughs> no one's trying to physically stop you from dyeing your fucking uh, body hair watch the personal watch the personal and external and be yourself oh jesus was that the fucking final pawn? Was that the final fucking product? That's just gonna look- that's gonna look so bad. Oh my god. Why would you do such a thing? Why? Official simp hype house. Oh, this motherfucker again. Just making sure as many people see this as possible. Women are not as oppressed as men right now. And it's sad how the feminist movement has turned from equality to anti-men. Oh, shit. Okay, wait. Fucking connections a dropping a little bit. Okay, there we go. Never mind. Do you get catcalled in the street when you go out? <laughs> like, like, yeah, this is this is the real shit. <laughs> Do you freak out every cat calling is not fucking oppression? Are you five? It's not oppression. It's an inconvenience. <laughs> a single time a car drives behind you when you are walking. Are you told to cover up when you? It's not oppression. It's a mild inconvenience. When a car drives by, I thought I think that so many chicks are low key bragging about how much harassment they get. I have to be pretty. I almost got raped. I mean, <laughs> the Great Witch Three. I ruined my long. I ruined the long weekend. Racism, POC, Black Lives Matter. White people who consider themselves allies of people of color. So if you're not a white ally, feel free to unfollow me. <laughs> Thank God, I'm not following you. Otherwise, I would have to because I'm not a white ally. <laughs> You know when you're in a group of like solid middle class white people, uh, like you can smell the craft beer and the white wine. And you mean like you? <laughs> because no one else is around, you start hearing what I like to refer to as like light racism. Like it can't be too much because they're supposed to be progressive. So it's just like a sprinkling of racism. Something along the lines of like, I love my neighborhood, but some people don't know how to take care of their lawns. Do you know what I mean? So wait, wait, you interpreted some people don't ca take care of their lawns as, oh, they're talking about niggas. <laughs> That's how you interpreted that? That's funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. They said some people don't know how to take care of their lawns, which is simple. Like some people don't know how to take care of their fucking lawns in my neighborhood. And you interpret that as like, are you talking about niggers? <laughs> are you talking about beaners? Is that what you're talking about? That's so racist. I love how like, oh, progress, some progressives are fucking racist. I'm thinking, okay, she's gonna be spitting in a minute. And then she herself sounds like a fucking racist progressive. <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious. And like Rebecca, Susan and Karen are all like, we have the exact same problem in my neighborhood. Like it's so bad. And because I- So how do you interpret racism in it? They didn't fucking imply anything. I don't see how you, you got that from that. You interpreted that because you are that Karen. You are Becky, Karen, and whoever the fuck you just, or whoever the fuck your name. You are them too. You are them too. You is them. <laughs> and they is you. All they did was like, oh, some people don't know how to take care of their fucking lawns. Jesus Christ. This would be ugly as shit. Because um, unless you know for a fact they're talking about some coloreds, I have to assume that you think when you think of bad lawns you think of people of color that's your problem sweetie <laughs> i love how she tried to make her friends seem like fucking racist and then now she looks racist L looks like the racist nice job karen <laughs> i have all the makings of a suburban housewife they all look at me like do you know what i mean i never felt more like a suburban housewife than when i got asked to leave the community hall in the middle of a euchre tournament spilling my glass of chardonnay while i screamed at karen that she was a fucking racist Long story short, I didn't get invited to pancake breakfast. This is and like she's flexing, like oh, look, see, see ne negroes, see negroes, and you see how how like, yeah, I don't like those Karen bitches either. <laughs> Even though they just said my like some people don't want to take care of their lawns, didn't specify what race. 
didn't even allude to anything apparent like really because she didn't say anything about that and uh she all of a sudden assumed they were talking about people of color so that's really more of a you problem oh a guy oh my god i'm not wearing my glasses so hold on guy awry okay five dollar super chat yes as a non-racist she knows black people don't take care of their lawns <laughs> yeah she's a total karen she thinks she's separated from these motherfuckers like no nigga <laughs> nah bitch <laughs> And I'm inclined to think you're more, you're the, you're the town racist. Like, oh, they didn't want to, they didn't want to have me back at the pancake breakfast because you're the racist, Karen. You're the racist. The person who thinks they're not the racist in the, in the group, they're the racist. <laughs> it's like whoever smelt it, dealt it. That, that, that is that rule. Whoever smelt the racism, dealt the racism. <laughs> she probably, she probably got a fucking Honduran maid <laughs> that she cussed out in front of everybody and was like, yeah, we can't, ha- we can't have that. We can't have this bitch back here. We can't have her back here. Or she was probably talking about like, you know what? I went to my Honduran's maid's house, which is so fucking, oh my God. Like cigarette butts and people like blaring that, that fucking mariachi music. And like, she's putting on her fucking makeup while doing this, which makes me think she's like a hoity toity, like bitch. Anyway, this is so dismissive. Like, oh, I don't care about you guys. I'm putting on my makeup right now. Um, I remember a YouTuber doing that shit when she did like a follow up video on some drama, and it was just so uppity. I was like, "Bitch, She's like, I, yeah, it was, it was just it, whatever." Moving on, like I, I went to her house, and they have such terrible lawns. These beaners, I mean, oh my god, you'd think they would just lo- like they spent all day mowing lawns. Did you think they would know how to take care of their own? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, right? She's that, I bet you she's that racist. And now she on fucking TikTok talking about, oh, no, no, they're the racist. I'm the one who points out all the racism. I'm different from them. I'm just like Nicole Kidman in that uh, uh, that Stepford Wives remake. <laughs> I'm the one who's totally not plastic and blonde and all that. Like, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. You- she told on herself so bad. <laughs> And that's on high standards. Uh, let's see what this is. You don't care until you're blue in the face. But you and your best friend are getting drunk so he can take your mind off of me. Me and my best friend are getting drunk to celebrate the fact that you finally stopped fucking texting me. You can act like you don't care. Okay, whatever. That, I don't see how that's feminist, but whatever. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is the last fucking one. We, we're ending it on this creepy bitch. Feels great. Feels great. <laughs> it feels right. Um, duet with feminist fatale, feminist lesbian, confused prairie girl. <gasps> Excuse me, 1800s kid. This better be good, goddammit. Random old man staring at me in public. Finally, a good woman who covers up her body. Oh, wait, she's just basically the same goddamn TikTok, except. Okay, okay, okay. Me, a lesbian feminist. Oh God, just trip each other already. All right, we gotta, oh, no, we need to end it on this bitch. No, 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 we doing one more because that one was just like a repeat. It's the same shit as the last fucking TikTok, so whatever. Y'all ever notice how some people are disgusted by the words feminism and feminist? Just say feminism, bitch. (laughs) You You realize how people are disgusted by the one word and disgusted by damn near the exact same word? This ain't feminism, bitch. Perhaps it's not the word feminist you hate. Maybe you just hate women. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why is it wrong to want the same social, economic, and political rights as men? Because the uh, movement is so fucking toxic now that you basically exclude everyone from the group because you're a bunch of fucking uh, puritanical jackasses. Can't have anyone who thinks differently from us. Can't have any bi women, of course, because no, we're all about the sapphic energy. Um, (laughs) Like pure sapphic energy. You're not as inclusive as you fucking think because y'all end up sounding low key racist any goddamn way. See the last chick, the the chick before last. The average woman loses 407,000 because of the gender wage gap over a lifetime. We already been through that. J- the wage gap mean a thing. It's not a fucking thing. 
At least not the way they think it is. Is it bad that we want a woman to be paid the same as a man? Like the same old tired shit Berkeley High School student walks out in protest over rape culture. Ugh. Ugh. Why is it so wrong to speak out against rape culture? Because we don't fucking live in one. <laughs> I'm pointing to the brain that I don't have. <laughs> Someone put meaty in my scully. <laughs> Gallup poll, dissatisfaction with U.S. abortion laws on the rise. Okay. Why do I feel like if I go and read this, it's going to say something completely different. Dissatisfaction with U.S. Ab abortion laws on the rise. That's dissatisfaction. Hold on. Hold on a minute. I don't know why I'm in caps, but whatever. With abor laws on the rise NPR Gallup poll okay found the link pro-choice activist holds sign and Senator uh, Cory Booker a Democrat from New Jersey speaks during a rally in front of the US Supreme Court and many reads some Gallup poll found that more Americans want less restriction less strict abortion laws this is most entirely driven by Democrats, so the trend is clear and it's showing up. And it's all Americans, poll finds 58% of Americans are dissatisfied with abortion laws, while 32% are satisfied. A new low since Gallup began trafficking this data in 2001. In the survey in Democratic polls, Democrats polled during the Trump administration so that they want less restriction on abortion laws. So wait, this. You just polled fucking Democrats. They said they want less restrictive abortion laws during the last Republican uh, administration. That of President George W. Bush, 14% of Democrats held that opinion. Uh, shifting attitudes among Democrats. Apologies for abortion rights. Said that it could also be attributed to the uh, trend in many conservative leaning states who are passing new abortion restrictions. Some are for early in the first trimester but they're just... an equal number of Americans say with stricter laws uh, the poll found that nearly a nearly equal number of Americans say they want stricter laws 24% as compared to those who want less strict laws abortion laws 22% Senate said in a tribute among Republican leaning voters who tend to believe abortion laws should be stricter, have remained relatively stable. Meanwhile, Democratic leaning survey. So this is basically about people's, Americans' views on abortion laws in general, which is what I figured it was. This isn't about like, oh, we want more rights. This is about like everyone's views on um, abortion laws and like how everyone feels about it compared to like in this in this administration and in the past and conservative and democrat so you kind of just like threw that in there <laughs> with i'm uh, i'm pretty sure she didn't fucking read it <laughs> agency and freedom over my own body and uterus offend you so much i don't think it's the word oh god this is horrific <laughs> feminism and feminists that people hate i really because you fucking Dismiss male victims. You're a twat, is evidenced by your TikToks. Why would anyone want to be in league with you? Like, at all? <laughs> like, you just have a problem with women. I mean, I know I totally dismiss men and don't give a shit about their problem. But you should just, like, be okay with that. <laughs> oh my god, I have bad hiccups. Ugh. I love how it's tagged, uh, speaker truth. <laughs> I think some people genuinely just don't like women. It's almost as if society was created by men, for men, and positions of economic and political power. By men, for men, yet you're able to be a feminist out in the open, spout this garbage, be on TikTok, and say this shit freely. 
okay, you live in a patriarchy and blah, 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 even though you were completely fucking free to do whatever the hell you want and say whatever the hell you want. Get the Power fuck out of here. still held mostly by men. Y'all ever notice how some people... Then maybe stop fucking voting for them. Because I know this bitch would vote for Biden if she had the goddamn chance. You know she would. But anyway, yep, it is... It is... That our four hours are fucking up. That was fun and aggravating, and my voice kind of is kind of starting to give out because <laughs> I've been yelling at these fucking idiots this whole time. But yeah, that's gonna do it for tonight. Thank you for watching this hell, this hellscape of a fucking app. Who knows? We might do this again. Do like a part two type shit. A part two type shit. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Because, like, I think there's more bullshit to be had here. Uh, it, uh. But, yeah, that's it for now. Because I'm tired. My fucking eye is watering for some reason. It's stinging. I don't know. I've been I'm looking at this, this bullshit for too long. Well, thank you to everyone who sent a super chat and a message and all that. Oh, wait a minute. Julian Gonzalez... Julian Gonzalez said, men in the chat, how many of you still have your man card, also known as a selective service card? It's pretty- oh, shit. Dean, oh, Dean approved. $10 super chat. Just wanted to say, lift your Batwoman videos. The ch- channel is Dean approved. Thank you. Okay. Well, uh, oh, God. Let me get the fuck off and stop talking. But yeah, um, like I said, thank you to everyone who sent me a super chat and, and a kind message. And if you are in any of the shit that's happening right in the middle of any of the shit that's happening right now with the riots, please be safe for the love of God. And you bet, I bet, I hope none of you motherfuckers have been out there rioting because that's not right. <laughs> but yeah, um, I yeah, like I said, peace be with you. Be safe, and like I said, thank you for tuning in and all the super chats and all the support. I really fucking appreciate it. And that's gonna be it for me. Good night, you guys. Love you. And uh, yeah, expect the finale, the Batwoman finale reaction to be out uh, either next, this coming up weekend, or on Friday, something somewhere around there. 